Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome to the Griffin, Indiana Supercut of episodes 11 through 20. This is a collection of the second 10 episodes in the series, making it easy to watch one single video and see the entire second series without having to select the next episode. We're going to go from a $2 million loan and some equipment and build our way up to making probably too much money. So sit back and relax and enjoy episodes 11 through 20 of Griffin, Indiana. Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. This is going to be the start of the second bit of the series. So in the first series, we took out a $1 million loan and trying to see how we could do. Now, we're going to take out a $2 million loan. Now, we've already got our equipment, so everything is good there. Showed you guys the train. The train's been redone for this second update right there. Looks pretty good. Unfortunately, it required a new game save. So our fields, our farms are all gone. I gotta build this whole thing back. Oh, so that's what we're going to do today. Updated farm build, baby. Let's go. Let's start off with the farm build itself. Yes, there's $3.9 million up there. You know what? Just ignore it. Just ignore it. You don't need to, you don't need to know about that. I'm trying to build my farm back and then we'll get money back where it is. So we've gotten our hands on the American garage with apartment from OK Used Mods. You may remember we used his house on here for the first set of the series. However, I wanted to go with something a little bit different, maybe change up the way this entire area looked. Now we went with John Deere Green to start with. I thought it looked pretty good, but it didn't quite contrast enough. So for this series, everything is gonna be red with the exception of the equipment, which is well, it's still green. Sorry. We're also going to be utilizing some of Alien Gems mods from the animated shed pack. This just got an update, and it's also going to allow us to have more shed space, better shed space, and it's going to allow us to have some other stuff, which I'm really excited about. So let's get it started, baby. Some things are going to be placed down right back where we had them. Some things need to get straightened out a little bit because I don't know how to place this stuff down right and everything is going to need to be placed down in free build mode. That's going to make things so much easier for us and I think about right here that looking pretty good. That looked pretty good to me. Maybe we'll push that just a little bit right there. Bam! Got him. Now as far as this house goes, I thought about doing a little bit of a different layout here. I kind of cheesed it a little bit in the past where I just kind of like ran from one side to the other and well that was it. So I'm thinking about maybe preventing myself from doing that. Maybe putting it like right here kind of like it would be in real life. I thought that would be kind of fun. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just got to make sure I can line this up perfectly. I got a sneaky suspicion this is as good as it's going to get. So let's put it down. Let's come over here and uh, take a look around a little bit. So We've got doors right here that open up. We've got a couple other doors right here that open up nice and slowly. We've got an area to go up right here to our apartment. I love it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Open up the door. We got everything in here that we need. Place where we can change our clothes. It's John Deere. I know it kind of burns my skin a little bit, but it'll be all right. We've got a way in and out. This, I mean, it's kind of cool. Did he leave us some food out? Oh, he left us some cinnamon buns and croissants. Nice. Now let's go in here, check that. What is this? What? What is this? Snap, okay. Where did you get my logo from? <laughs> Glenn, you're a booger. I love you, man. I love you. We've got a way out over here on the side. So this is going to be a nice place where we can actually raise up the ground a little bit right there. And eh, maybe, just maybe run a little pathway back here, maybe into another building. We will find out and see. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and open every single door that is around. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, we're gonna open up every single door that's around. That way I could see what door goes where, where is what, and and where all the pathways need to go, especially for, for this. Oof! I'm fairly positive there's no way to actually get this to level out back here, but I'm going to try. So. We've got our leveling tool here. We'll make this as small as possible, but we'll make it pretty tight on. And it doesn't look like that's going to work. Okay, so we'll go to the next best thing. Soften. Yeah, that didn't work either. So I've got another idea. Let's go with painting and paint it the same color. All right, well, that didn't seem to work either. <laughs> so now I'm getting desperate. I'm coming through and I'm just going to flatten out the backside back here to bring it down a little bit. All right, well, this is awkward. Uh, there's a place right here that doesn't want to go down. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. This, this is the other idea. 
Quit! Just quit. All right, so I got an idea. I think what I'm gonna do is try at least to go from like here in the middle and level this out right with where the road is, bring it in some, stay away from the outside edge, and then just keep that going. And that, that just didn't... Come on, why didn't it work? Ah! Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna put everything in. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look great. <laughs> I started on the inside and flattened it out. That should do it. Let's go into sheds. Let's find our favorite one which is this one, let's make it red and let's point it in the right direction and place it down. All right, now I've got everything flat out. Same thing with the house. All right, I think I'm back where I started. I did move the house forward a little bit so that this part would line up uh, and uh, looks like I'm able to go up and down. No trouble whatsoever. All right, I think we're back where we started. Oh, come on. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna put down some buildings. And again, I'm gonna be using some of Alien Jim's buildings. We do have toggle free mode turned off and I flattened out a lot of these areas. So we're gonna put one of these in a way where we could get in and out, drive through the farm itself. So there's an easy way to get from the front to the back and boom, just like that. And I think we'll go ahead and build it while we're at it. I think the trigger fort's right here. Yeah, and yeah, the trigger's in the wall there. That's interesting. Uh, the red doesn't quite match, but you know what? That's okay. And I decided to put it down like this. So we've got a dri complete drive-through area right here. So we'll build the drive-through here, or the driveway, and it'll go straight towards the back of the farm back there. And here, we've actually got a side entrance so we can come in from the side or we could come in from the front. Next is going to be the silo area. So I do want to put a silo over here. I think I've got it lined up just about right. Right over here, and we should have the trigger in the corner. Yes, we do. Let's hit it. And let's watch this thing get all built it up. Now, this should line up either perfectly or really, really close. And it's going to give us a way to drive through. Um, I don't think we've got any storage, at least here, but we've got a way to drive through there. Do the doors fold in all the way? The doors do fold in all the way. And then we've got an area right here. Okay. There we go. We got a shed and we got a silo. So I might've got a little bit of carried away and forgot to hit record again. Uh, this is kind of where we're at. Got a nice little in cove here where we can park a car, do something like that. Um, we've got all these areas here, place, really nice place for combine harvesters, the larger tractors. Of course, we've got our silo system right here. I do like that the silo is there. Don't get me wrong. However, how much crop are we actually going to hang on to that we couldn't just put on this farm over here? So I'm actually considering getting rid of this building right here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, we just going to get rid of it right now. There we go. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to place down the exact same one that we've got. This is probably going to be more than enough anyway. We'll just watch this thing get built because I love this. This is one of the coolest things ever. Boop, 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 boop. Bam. Done. So now that's completed. Uh, the buttons are on the opposite side. I just realized that. Nonetheless, this is going to be a little bit easier for us. We've got much, much more room, more versatile room to go through and get everything done. Okay. So a little bit of painting work and some, um, you know, putting putting different stuff down. So I'm gonna get all of that done right now. And I guess we'll meet back up here in just a few minutes. Everything should be finished soon. So I think I'm done, <laughs> finally. So we've got a couple places right here. Uh, we've got a nice fence there. A couple of little DJ Goham pumpkins. Of course, well, could not have him there. Uh, got a nice little area again right here where we could pull in a vehicle or something like that. I did try and get the fencing to almost match up perfectly. I get about as good as I possibly could have. Got lights everywhere. Of course, we've got a nice little drive through right here where this area just will not go down no matter how much I try. So I quit trying. I've also got little lights kind of here and there. So at night, this area is going to look great, even though I don't do anything at night. Anyway, I decided not to do fencing around the backside because it's going to be difficult to pull things in here anyway. So why make it any more difficult on myself? Again, more pumpkins, a little bit more lights, and then we've got areas through here. Of course, I've got all of the grass painted. We got a little yellow and orange flowers everywhere. I've got some of these smaller trees and I've got some bushes around. So that looks nice. And then around towards the front, 
We've got a few trees as well. I'm um, trying to plant down like two or three of each uh, in the individual areas just so it kind of looked cohesive between the parts. But um, that's about it for our house and for the main area right here. So that's one down. But I still got to put all the equipment back over here. And I think we've got a whole nother area that we've got to put stuff. Oh, yeah. And I built this fence around this dude's house. And I, and I felt like he was being creepy. So I tried to stay away. Oof. And there's beating and banging in there. Ugh, cool. So here you go. We've got our 8R in here. We've also got the 9RX rocking and rolling there. Both of our combine harvesters hanging out here. Ready to head out at a moment's notice. Now, we've also got... Uh, well, another farm, which has to be completely rebuilt and is going to take a while. However, this other farm is going to be really exciting because this area is going to be our cow farm. Well, once again, I mean, it was before and we're going to do it again, but we're going to completely level everything and we're going to start over from scratch. However, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to do that because that is going to be super, super in depth. So... Stay tuned for it. If you're like me and you look at this secondary farm right here and you think, ooh, I could do a lot better than that. Well, hey, we're in luck because we could delete literally everything that's on here right now. Also, just to let you guys know, I have tried to extend the um, resolution scaling a little bit. I doubled it. So instead of 4K, it's like, I don't know, like 5K, something like that. Anyway, nonetheless, I got a lot of stuff here, and I wanted to jump in, take a look, and maybe demolish some things. Yeah, we'll go and demolish that. Uh, all of the fences straight through here. One of the nice things about fences is all you got to do is click and drag, and it'll go whoop. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I just found out this a few days ago. Swing. So we're going to delete all of the fences. Then I'm going to go through and delete all of the trees. Now, the trees are a little bit different. I'm going to be using a mod called Easy Dev Controls. What that's going to allow me to do is go in and actually completely delete every tree, everything that is hanging out. So there we go. Fence has gotten rid of. Next step, I don't need to do this, but I'm going to. To do this, I'm going to be painting down grass. Matter of fact, I'm going to go into the painting and select the grass itself. And we are going to paint down all of this area because some of these trees are bushes and some of them are actual trees. And I need to be able to help myself distinguish between the two. That way I can delete the appropriate ones. And the good thing is as well, I don't actually need to delete everything and i don't need to paint everything i just need to paint over these areas where trees are existent oh what is that on the ground right there once we got all that now we can go into the easy dev and delete objects input and i believe it is just the delete key that makes them delete oh nope it is the end key because you're ending their lives boom goodbye goodbye yeah that's easy oh one more let's do one more Pow. Now that that's done, we get to have a little bit of fun. So, if you guys watch some of my late live streams, you were able to see me putting in a new PGA from Pumps and Hoses. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Well, at least we're going to be adding on to that setup. Another thing I'm going to be doing is the animal set as well. Now, beforehand, we did everything from the side or from the front. We had one animal pen. However, with this new setup, I'm going to run two of these. So we're going to run one animal pen on one side and then basically flip it and put one on the other side. That way we can run up to 2,000 head of cattle all at once and we'll be able to create some really, really nice fences and setups and things like that. That way we can drive in here a little bit easier. Plus, with all of the food and stuff being on side roads, we really don't have to do much moving around. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And you can see here as well, I'm going to line it up pretty closely with it. Not, not like perfect, but I think pretty closely. Oh yeah, and make sure that you turn on free build because otherwise it's just going to cause you a whole bunch of problems. And yay! All right, so these are down. We can now see exactly where everything is. So over here on the left-hand side, we've got a thousand head of cattle. And right out here, we've got a place where we can buy them, etc. And same thing on the other side, but just 
turned around backwards. If you really wanted to spice things up, you could also put one of these right here somewhere. If you wanted to run like, what, three of these at one time? So that'd give you 3,000 head of cattle. Uh, we're, we're not going to do that, I don't think. But... It at least is a cool, fun idea if you guys want to do that at home. Interestingly, I am running into a bit of a problem here. I can't get any fences to, to like, work. Now, they'll work all the way, and, and I put them, like, right here, but it, no matter what, they don't work. They're not, they're not working. They just say that they're colliding with an object. I don't know why. This is fine, but then once it gets into here... It starts to collide again. So I, I don't, man, I don't know what I did, but I think maybe we should just go with one cattle barn rather than two. I found a way for it to work. Sweet. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this fence right here. I like the wood fence. I, I don't know. It's just a little different. I was kind of back and forth between that fence and this fence right here, but I thought the wood fence kind of gave it a little bit more life, a little bit more pizzazz if you want to call it that so i went with that i'm also changing it up just a little bit uh from the way that it was i'm starting on uh the very very edge just like this and then trying to get it to a point where it doesn't completely collide there we go so both of our sides are completely fenced in now you don't have to do it this way you can do it your way however way that is but this is the way that i've decided to do it for myself now we get to have a little bit of fun because I'm actually going to create a little bit of a pathway, like a road that goes up through the middle here. And on the left side, this is going to be where like our uh, manure collects and the slurry collects, things like that. I ran into a bit of a problem with that with the last set. I'm trying to make it just a little bit different. However, with this, there's a few things that I want to do. For example, I want to be able to go in there if I want to. So I'm going to go here. We're just going to kind of line, line that up just like so. And then we're going to add in... A fence now I do want it to go inwards not outwards so maybe we need to redo that a little bit yeah this will work just fine so we'll just start with this side instead point it in just a little bit and that will be good and I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here as well that way we've got a couple different ways in just in case for whatever reason I might need to get into the cattle area well we can oh that kind of that's a bit of an angle isn't it not really what I wanted, but I guess it is what it is. There you go. So we have the beginnings of our cattle area. So now we can go over here and go ahead and turn all of that gridding off. I know that the gridding is a little bit annoying to some people, myself included. I'm going to forget that that's there because that doesn't stand out very well. <laughs> and then there's the other one right here. Again, I'm going to forget that that's there. Let's go and turn the gridding off. Got it. Oh, where'd it go? So I said we're going to have the area for all of our silo and where the uh, manure spawns and things like that. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. So I'm going to go into buildings. We're going to jump into our silos. There's one specifically that we're going to use. This one right here, just a stereotypical liquid silo. That's what we want from Omatana. I also, for ease for myself, wish to have access to these from the road. So that's exactly what I'm going to set up right here. Uh, also, again, make sure you got free build turned on, but otherwise you're going to have a bad time just like I was about to there. Uh, here we go. One little spot there. That's good. And then we'll jump into silo extensions and we'll place a few of these down, maybe in a triangle. That way it looks, you know, kind of cool, but a little bit different all at the same time. And of course we have to have a place for our manure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up right over here with like the edge of the farm. Right about there-ish, I think. And then we're going to line that up here beside the road as well. Um, you, with manure heaps and piles and things like that, you don't have to go in them in Farming Simulator anymore. So we're just going to park it out right outside. A hip beep, just like so. Oh yeah, and these little things as well. I kind of put up the last time we did this, I put up these little places so that the cattle had a nice little area to eat under. And you guys seem to really like that. So we're going to do the same thing again here. I really like these setups, but we're not going to do it down on the very end. We're going to do them up here somewhere. Boom! Covered feed area, baby! Let's go! And of course, I said we've got to have access to this side. So let's put down one of these. So this is the green shed from the 10 by 12 shed mod. I don't know. 
All I know is that this thing is going to look great and it matches, uh, kinda, uh, with the other stuff. So I just got to make sure I can put it down in an area where it's straight enough and where we can get a fence behind it and it's about halfway between these two pieces. Wha-bam! Yeah! So now we got manure over here to the right. In the middle we've got a shed and to the left right here. We've got silos, which I'm gonna put a tree right there. Okay, so let's do a little bit more fence building. Decoration, get me those fences, yes sir. All right, so now we're gonna take this fence right here and let's take, you know, we should probably do something here on the side, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit fun and interesting and daring, if you will. So we're gonna line this up as best we can with the edge right about here, I think, is where the side goes. Boom. Just like that. And you know what? <laughs> Forget it. We'll just come all the way over here. And we'll go to this until it tells us that it collides. Right there. That's where we're going to stop. And then maybe like this way? Eh, I don't know. Kind of like that being open there on the side. I could have done a, a closed side shed, but I didn't really feel the need to do that. So now we've got this area here. Let's go ahead and select that. We'll come over here right to the edge. Uh, about right there is probably going to be about where we want to go. I am going to run a fence around to the outside. Ooh, collides with another item. I don't know what other item that could be. Ooh, maybe it's... I don't know. Oh, collides right there too. Maybe if I can sneak it in between. Oh, I can sneak it in between. Yeah. Right there and then over to here. Oof. Big oof! Well, it worked, right? <laughs> sure did. And then that distance is going to be too short. Not going to be able to work it there. So we'll just uh, cancel that. Maybe bring it to here? Something? Bueller? Ooh, here's a fun idea for no reason whatsoever. Let's put a gate right here that comes into the shed. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Just because, right? Absolutely. So we'll put it about right there. There we go. And then we'll add on a little bit of fencing to come to over here. Uh, well, it connects, so whatever. We'll let it connect. Just like that. Why? I don't know. Okay, here's where we can run another internal road. I'm not sure if I want it to kick inwards or not. That seems like it'll work just fine. But I do want to give it a little bit of space. So we're going to extend this maybe out just a little bit. Hey, right where it says that this distance is too short. That's kind of the perfect amount, actually. That's that's what I want. Right there, we'll go inward just a little bit, like, I don't know, to that maybe? Man, <laughs> doing, doing farm builds is a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work as well. Uh, that'll do, I guess. And then we'll do another one over here where it says distance too short. We'll leave it to it, and we'll be done. There you go, and we'll bring this back, just like so. And that looks crooked. <laughs> of course it does, why wouldn't it be? Boom, got it. Why? <laughs> I don't know, it just felt right. We're also gonna do something very, very similar right about here, so I wanna make sure that I'm lined up just about perfectly with that and just about perfectly with this part over here because this is gonna kinda be the end of the cow farm area. So we'll bring that right to there and we will clip it off there. We'll bring it in one bit right through here with the distance saying it's too short, which is going to be the perfect length for what we're doing. Boom. And then lastly, one little fence part to go to there. That is just about right for what we're wanting to do right here. Oh yeah. For <laughs> Hang on, one more. All right, well, more or less, I'm happy with all of that. It's a little bit confusing, I think, but that's kind of what I'm going for. Let's build a BGA, man. If there's something I learned really, really quickly messing around with this the other day was, uh, you need the biggest one. Just spend the money, get the largest one. We're gonna take this around to the back and put it about right there-ish. We do need to make sure that the free build is on. So with this being in the middle, this is gonna give us a few extra, I, or a few extra options for uh, inputs and things like that. I would like to do two inputs, but I think for now, probably gonna be okay with just doing uh, 
Just doing the uh, the single ones on one side. So we've spent that cash. We got that money. There you go. All right. So it's place that centerpiece down for us. And as you can see, the liquid silo is showing up. Because if we go into silos, we click this. These show up as liquid silo as well. So it's actually taking Omatana's mod. It thinks that it's this. She didn't mean for it to be that. This mod came out long before pumps and hoses did. But it's super cool that it actually works. So there's one and two. I don't think we'll need more than two. We can put more down. I mean, we got room for them like right here. But I'm not sure running three is the best. Uh, at least right now. So we're not going to worry about three. We do need a gas torch. These don't cost very much. And they're nice and handy. I'm going to place two of these down. We do not need to. No, 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 no. We don't. Oh, DJ Goham wants to. <laughs> and we also got a co-generation plant we need to put out. We're going to put the biggest one. Just, man, it's going to be so much easier. Just put down the biggest one. And lastly, in a piece that I actually had uh, kind of not misplaced, but definitely didn't put in the right spot, is this little guy right here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of thinking about moving a few things and putting... Putting this down over here. So what this does, the uh, separator, this is going to give you like just some extra stuff, basically, in between the um, slurry and, and all that good yummy, yummy stuff. Well, this allows us to kind of get some extra stuff out of there. Actually, you know what? Might not be a bad idea to replace the bunker for the manure. Put this here and then put the... Um, Put all this extra just stuff elsewhere. You know? You kind of see, uh, smell when I'm stepping in here? You see what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Just like that. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Yo! So, uh, I deleted a few areas. I'm redoing some stuff here. And I'm finding that this shed right here actually fits pretty darn well right here now i do need to get it like lined up to where it's square but yeah about right there be good just line it up with something straight on the side of the uh the field there but like this is working just get it to where it doesn't clip oh sorry oh I forgot the, the free mode no we're good 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 line it up line it up bam go 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 run 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 <laughs> so now we've got a shed right here where we put some stuff we have a shed over here that we could put some stuff. Actually, I may I may close this one in because those extra fences just look terrible right there. We've got our place for the separator right there. Oh yeah, this is cool. Check this out. So I open this up and then walk in and then click down on the left stick, I believe. Um yeah, it's it's not it's not running right now. But um actually I think I can make it start running. No, I can't. And so far, all I could do is close the gate around myself. So, separator's not, might not even be close enough. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, point being, I thought it was cute to have to open a little gate just to get in there and turn on the separator. So, now it's time for roads. We need to start painting some of these. So, let's go into painting. We're going to go to gravel. And then I think we're going to go with, not the largest one, but maybe the second largest one. Ah, yeah, that'll be, that'll be just fine. We'll get over here right to the edge and then start making our way down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. That way I can have full control over the entire road going down. Now that we've got all this, we need to go ahead and start doing our milk production once more. Now beforehand, we were producing way more milk than we could actually handle. So this time around, we're not doing one cheaty. We're going to do two of these. That way, we've got plenty of milk production, plenty of everything, and I'm totally not going to make the mistake of putting it over there beside that. I don't know where I'm going to put it, to be fair, but I'm going to put it somewhere. Also, over here, I plan on doing some kind of gate into this area. So, like, the right-hand side from here is going to be completely separated from the left side over here. This is all going to be basically production. We're on the right side. This is all going to be your animals and, you know, manure and icky stuff to handle. Yeah. So I decided to do something different here. I'm going to put the milk production over here right beside the silo. So that way I ain't got to do nothing crazy, nothing wild, nothing weird. Definitely nothing weird. Weird is, weird is just weird, isn't it? And I know I'm not going to need to get in here either. So 
All I gotta do is place these down. Hopefully nothing um, is too kind of crooked-ish. Hopefully those triggers don't get in each other's way. Boop. Got it. I never have to go in there. They sell automatically. Makes it nice and easy. Oh yeah, and I put a different shed down. So I'm not saying that I got a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm not behind myself. Let's just put it that way. I started getting excited and I started doing a little bit of extra work going through here, trying to get all of this organized. And well, this is what the BGA area looks like right now. Um, we've definitely take out a, a bit more of a load than I was ready for, but you know what? <laughs> But man, whatever. It's fine. Uh, the, we do have a couple areas right here, but I'm just going to encase those uh, in fencing for now. This whole area right here. There's no point to include that area with anything that I'm doing right now. Uh, however, I am going to bring that into there. Uh, well, maybe not that far down there, but it's good enough for me. And then we've got this area right here. So we've got an area nice. So we've got a place for working on vehicles or whatever you got to do. Well, you could do that right here. Now it's just the decoration parts. And finally, we're almost done, man. Uh, we're going to put a couple little bits and pieces in just so that the cows have, well, what looks to be water, but it, well, you know, me and you both know it ain't. Putting the final touches on now, and I decided to use a piece that I don't know if I've used since the game came out. Hedges! And I... <laughs> all right, look, I went a little bit overboard, all right? Just leave me alone. So we've got all the good parts, and I don't know what I'm going to do in here, but... Well, it's a place, so... <laughs> Maybe that's where K-Bot could go. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff in here. Good place to work on vehicles. The BGA's more or less done here. So we've got both of these that open up. Those are going to be our inputs, which is nice. Uh, well, we've got an area right here, which I'm going to do grass and trees and things like that. Uh, we've got a code generation plans back here, which have to be accessed. <laughs> we've got one there and we've actually got one here as well. I need to do a gate around this. So if you guys want to check this out, check this out. All right. So normally when I'm making fences and stuff, at least when I'm doing my own personal gameplay, I'll just delete certain pieces of fencing and then go in. So I think this is a good spot right here for the fence to start. So that leaves enough opening right there. So if I jump into decorations real quick and I find the fencing that I want to use. So we've got our gate and it almost lines up. Actually, it lines up perfectly, but unfortunately it doesn't want to work with me. So I'm going to demolish one extra spot of that. Come back with our gate. It opens inward, so that's fine with me. Boop, just like so. Find our fencing, connect it, done. Too easy. Now I can get in here and do what I need to do with the code generation plant. However, it's gonna go in there directly, so I ain't gotta worry about it. And the entrance to the entire complex is open, so you don't have to go in a certain spot or do anything like that. This entire area is open right here, and so is the area on the side. I don't have to open any gates, nothing like that, but I do have gates that I could go in. So that's kind of nice. All right, I got to put the final bits of decoration. We'll move equipment over. I think we'll be all set. And we're finally done. I've been able to move everything over. I've still got to buy the cattle, but we'll take care of that at a later date. We're going to go ahead and park up our 8R right here and then kind of give you a little walk around tour so you know where everything is and you know exactly how it's all going to function once we're all kind of up and running. So we've got... Well, trees right there. We've got our BGA system that we've put together. We can go ahead and close these. No reason to keep them open. So I've taken all of the hedges, as you can see right there. We've got all those rocking. We've got all our pieces down here. We'll go ahead and close up the gates to the coat generation plant, even though we don't need that. Also got a nice little building there. Little hedges every single where. What do you think? What do you think? So the way it's all going to work is the animals produce milk, manure, and slurry. Now, the slurry is going to go into these tanks right here, and so is the milk. Now, once the milk goes into those tanks, it's then going to go immediately into these two tanks right here, which are going to process it and sell it for us automatically. We don't have to do anything, and you could do all of that on all platforms. Boom, easy, said, and done. Now, it's also going to make manure, which is going to come over here. So we're going to collect the manure with a, a uh, trailer. We're going to collect the slurry with the tanker. We're going to bring that stuff over here. 
Manure is going to go in these, and slurry is going to go right here. Once we've got all of that included, then it's going to turn all of that into methane, which is going to go over here. And then we've got digestate, which goes back over here. And then we take the digestate and spread that on the ground. There's a lot to do. There's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. And then because we've got slurry, we've also got this part right here, which is the separator, which separates it out. And then we get bedding that goes back into the animals. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. So uh, tune in for the next one. We're going to have a lot of fun running this place. Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. Today, we're going to be jumping in and getting some field work done. Finally, finally, if you guys missed the last two series, we have been busy rebuilding the main farm, which uh, looks great. And we've also been busy rebuilding the cow farm as well, which looks like a completely different area, but everything is here. We've also got the pumps and hoses stuff set up. So that's kind of cool. We're all set to go, ready with that. It's all here. So with that, it's time to get to work. So the first thing we're doing, oh, this thing does not grip at all. I really got to find another John here because this, this one's not the most fun to drive in the world. We need to go ahead and get our planter. So that's there. We also need our sprayer, which is right here. And we need to explain why I got $2 million. Simply put, I got two milli because I decided in the first series, we took it on $1 million loan and it took us less than 10 episodes to knock that out. So why don't we take out a $20 million loan here? And, and you can definitely see, 20 or 22. No, I'm not doing a $20 million uh, thing. $2 million. Oh, hang on. We don't have any spray. Done. Fixed. So we're going to go through. Uh, we're going to spray this field right here. We've also got these fields up here, which are completely fertilized, which is nice. Uh, fields 16, 14, 13, and 15. It could have gone in a much better order than that. I'm sorry. Uh, two of these fields we can harvest. Two of them we can't bother with. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just cultivate it all under, plow it all under, maybe reset these fields to cultivated state and take it from there. But I'm going to spend my $2 million on these four fields right here. Boom. How much we got left? About a quarter million? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Half a million? A little better. All right, never mind. So here you go. This is what I'm going to reset everything to in uh, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there's 13, 14, 15 and 16. Now they are all set to cultivated. There ain't nothing special about them. And we are going to go ahead and start spraying on this field because I got some plowing work to do on those fields. All right, so this is what we're up to. We're going to get to plowing. <laughs> uh, I've already lined up one edge of this field. Uh, we are over here right now. So we've got this, I think. Should I go left? Nah, I'm just going to keep going straight on this one. We'll come back through and we'll hit all that. So the idea here is that I'm taking four smaller fields, which cost a decent amount of change by themselves, but are actually a little bit cheaper-ish than one of the massive fields, which seems to be about the same size. Probably get more with the other big field, but hey, this my here, I think this will do us just fine. I'm going to come at this from the front side, just like so. And I'm just going to plow up real slow until it gets all of that, just like that. I figured this was probably one of the easiest ways in order to get all of our money back because it's going to take a little while to get all that money back. I mean, $2 million? That's a chunk of cheddar, my dude. That's a chunk of cheddar. We're also going to need to invest in some more equipment. So we got two combine harvesters now. That's good for us. However, we're going to need to get some other stuff as well. I think possibly having two planters, that might be a good thing, even though the planters were using a little bit expensive. We also need to look into getting another sprayer because I'm not quite sure having one is going to be enough. I also don't know if we've got enough money to uh, get the 4940 and justify that, or if another trilled sprayer is what we want to go with. At least for now, 4940 is nice to have. We're only going to spray these fields what, four times a year. Some of them six. So there's, that wasn't good. Hold up. Did you guys just see that? I'm gonna go into landscaping mode real quick and I'm just gonna go to soften and make that kind of hard. There we go. Bring all that up together. There we go. 
nice and soft. Real quick, idiot number one up here got stuck after the second pass. So basically the whole time I've been talking, he's just been stuck there like, anybody want, hello, can anybody help me? No, no one wants to help you. You're an idiot. We could also probably raise up the ground here and remove these trees and make just one incredibly massive field. They line up. The issue that I'm worried about is the water because the water sometimes has collisions with it and workers will acknowledge that that's not water. It's just the ground. Um, this might be beneficial. All right, we gotta, <laughs> gotta come at this with a with a, uh, at least a strong head. So that lines up there. This we could easily bring it to match. Block that out right there. Hire one worker, let them do the whole thing. Uh, downside, one field's kind of boring. On the plus side, I could just delete the trees, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. That's not a real tree, nope. All right, well, at least for now, I've flattened all this out, but I do think this is a good idea. One big field, makes it nice, makes it easy. Goodbye tree, couple more. All right, there's uh, step one, step two, save the game. All right, y'all ready to do this? We're gonna combine these fields right here, right now, landscaping, wanna do a level. Um, sometimes we could do a squared off bit here. I'm not gonna try and do that. What I'm gonna try and do is come in maybe like right here. So I see where the land is. Actually, no, we're, we're gonna have to do this square. We're gonna have to square it off just like that. Bring it in and go across just like so. It's, I mean, it's working. <laughs> it's working. It is working pretty darn good. All I gotta do is We'll bring these together, smooth it out, and that part's done. So let's go ahead and bring this in. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work to this, but you know what? I think it's worth it. I'll also say they're not completely flat with each other. Neither one of these areas are completely flat. However, uh, I think this is gonna work just fine. Again, what we'll do is come through with a smoothing tool and we'll just smooth all this out. And that should put us right where we want to be. Also, some of these areas don't want to flatten out. There we go. Perfect. Now we're just going to take the soften tool and go back and forth across just like this so that we hit any areas that weren't quite right. This will bring everything up to speed for us. A uh, bit of an issue. Uh, I accidentally picked the wrong part to flatten out. <laughs> so now everything is just a little bit too high. Oops. All right, now last step before we can get in and do some field work, I'm gonna just run the smoothing tool right between where I've done all the flattening and the field itself. This should bring both areas in together and I think we'll be good. Can I drive across this smoothly now? Uh, yes, perfect. All right, let's plow it all up. By far, I gotta say the most difficult part right here, trying to get all of these fields just lined up Perfect. Come on, one more. Give it to me. There you go. So one field is a little bit further down than the other field. Whatever. Don't even care at this point. I'm done-ish. Oh, looks like we got a little spot right here. Doesn't want to get plowed up. So uh, here's how I fix this on the other farm. I went into painting and painted over it. Ah, that didn't work. <laughs> Uh, well, we know sculpting doesn't work. Uh, what if I put some plants on it? Maybe that'll work. Some grass. Huh? Does that work? I know plowing's turned on. Uh, yeah. Well, that worked. Not sure which one of those worked, but it worked, and that's what matters. And we are done. Yes, sir! Oh, I love it. Now we gotta go through and fertilize all of this. So it should start, yeah, there we go. Some of this is already fertilized just because of being where it is and, and all that good stuff. Of course, some here in the middle, this is gonna get double fertilized. Not a big problem though. And one thing I really like, this whole field is not far away from our BGA over there. We could, in theory, reach the hoses for the pumps and hoses all the way there. Question is, is it gonna stop right here? Nope, kept going through. Nice. I'll also say there's a bit of a steep incline coming down into this field. Just in general, that's the way it was whenever I bought it. So I might try and come in and adjust that just a little bit. We'll let that guy go where he's going for now. We'll come in here to landscaping, go to soften. We'll bring this all the way up and we'll make it as 
large as we can. Well, maybe halfway. Let's see. Is this going to do anything at all other than bring the top side down? Eh, maybe. All right. Hypothetically, this guy should just kind of do the rest of his job and not have to worry about me anymore. Hopefully, he'll come all the way down here. Hit that. Turn around. And do it again. Will they do it? Huh. Yeah, they will. Sweet. Now for the fun part. We get to use our new and improved Kinsey John Deere planter that has been put together. I got a little bit of help from J Turk Mining, my man. Been a moderator for a long time on the channel. Good friend just as long. And he was able to change a few things for us. The Kinsey logo is still blue. Whatever. I like it. I think it looks cool. What he was able to do is get those extra parts that were like white and blue to change colors. We also have new color options for a couple of the pieces, as you can see. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. Very excited about that. I'm trying to figure out what I want to plant first in this massive field. No, not poplars. I hear you out there. You know, why don't we just do wheat? A basic, generic, great way to start off. Oh yeah, check this folding speed out too. Look at this! In real life, this thing would be all over the place, but because it weighs like a fourth of what it did when I got it, yeah! Well, it's a lot better. <laughs> I love it! Yes, 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 yes. We'll drop it down, we'll turn it on, and we will go! Let's see if I can get this thing lined up appropriately. There we go. Lined up. I do like that it still has the planter footing on there. It doesn't have the cedar look as the planter look. I think that's pretty cool. Also, uh, this seems to be doing okay. I was a little bit worried because this is still the small engine, the 280. I mean, we could go up to the 410 if we wanted to, but I'm not sure that we actually need to. Is this gonna miss some? Oh yeah, she missing a little bit just cause it's all the way down. I could come in and adjust that, but eh, just don't care. We'll say this as well. Um, Look at the... The sprayer. He's definitely not as far along as I thought he was, but it's still not awful. Oh yeah, and I realized that a mod installed that made every cedar and planter roll the field automatically for me. And I've got a roller. I I, I actually kind of want to do that job for once. So I turn that off. Now we got to roll. Keep rolling, rolling. Don't demonetize me. While we're up here, let's check this area of the field. I only smoothed out one spot because I'm still not quite sure if it's going to be worth it or not. We've got those massive harvesters. Whoa, don't go across. I didn't hit that sign. It was already down when I got here. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit of an incline with those harvesters. Not saying. Actually, I am saying. It's going to be it's going to be a tough incline for harvesters to hit this, especially with that big header that I've got. I'm not sure that's going to be a great idea and a great time, but... The cedar seems to be handling it perfectly fine, so that I'm okay with. Now we're at the part where I've got to do this kind of myself. Hopefully it... Oh, look at that! It's modulating to the ground to hit all the areas that we need to hit. That's going to be a tough spot, especially for our harvesters. They don't flex. At least the headers that I've got right now don't. Maybe I should invest in some custom modding headers, because those definitely will flex. And now that I'm thinking about it, one of the headers I've got is a custom modding header. So we're good, probably. I also think it would be kind of fun because we've got wheat right here. Let's do something with it. Instead of just selling the wheat as it is, let's find a bakery. Let's let's figure out a bakery that might have to be modified a little bit to handle this much. Uh, I believe Ada Modding's got one that could probably handle it. If not, I'm sure omatana has got something. We'll find something somewhere. If you guys know of a bakery that's massive, that could handle this much wheat at once and be able to process the entire lot of it at one time, let me know because I'm very interested. The first headline is done. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go back and forth this way, but I've still got to run three headlands on each end. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that now. We got a little bit extra space and hopefully by the time we get done with that, the sprayer is gonna be all finished up. And I think we, will be almost finished up as well. And there you go, a whole lot of work left to do. Here is our field. Oh, the next time you guys see it, hopefully it's gonna be rolled and it's going to be uh, fertilized and all the 
All the good stuff. Done, I think is the word I'm looking for here. It's gonna be done. And we are back. Let's jump back into Griffin, Indiana. We're in the smaller John Deere, but she's getting an upgrade today. And you may also notice that we've got some money that's missing from the last time you saw it. That's because I quickly realized we need another planter. So I bought another John Deere planter. That what's Kenzie? It, just, you know what? Ignore what's on the side of it. Uh, there's some things I need to do real quick. And one of them is to upgrade this bad boy. Let's jump in here. Let's customize real quick. We're going to go into engine setup and we're going to give them the big engine. It doesn't give us too much extra horsepower, but it is enough. Oh, come on. Really? You've got to drop the stupid weight. Ah, I'm going to go in here, customize this again. Just put a three point on it. Got it. All right. Let's hook up. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much I'm actually going to get done between now and the next clip, but I can tell you for sure we've got another one of the Kenzie knockoff planters. We're going to throw some seed in there real quick. Uh, there's a mod out that makes seed free, but I don't have that mod installed right now, and I'm going to pretend like I keep using it. Okay? Okay. So our dude's got a lot done. A whole lot done. Look at all this. Unfortunately, uh, it's not not happening fast enough <laughs> it ain't happening fast enough at all so we're gonna jump in here we're gonna try and help them out just a little bit we'll double check make sure that we've got uh yeah set crews that'll work for us nice 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 uh we're gonna start up here on the top to kind of bring it in just a little bit because i do want to get this done quickly now that all we've got to do is wait on these guys which by the way they're doing real good I've decided to jump down into the productions and we're going to take a look at the cows and how much milk they're producing. So as you can see, we've got 100,000 liters of milk in there. I don't know where that's coming from. I really don't, but we've got two dairies right here. Maybe they come with 100,000. I don't know. Anyway, regardless, they're making us money, which is great. So we're running raw milk, but with the amount of cows that we've got in there and the amount of everything else, which by the way, we could probably go invest a little bit of this money and the cows, we have $471,000 left. It's not much I need. Maybe some more cows, that'd be about it. So let's see what we've got in here right now. So we have Holstein cows, which is totally fine. And they're 18 months old. So that works for me. Can we buy more Holstein cows? And them go in the same category? No, they don't. However, um, well, I think it'll be... It'll be fine. So we're going to buy a couple more of these. Let's see. We'll go with a 59 there. How much money we got still? Do it good. Do it good. Do it good. What do we have? 160 in here so far. Let's buy, oh, I don't know, 40 more. That'll bring us up to 200 head of cattle. Uh, JK, I decided to change up a few things. I sold the cattle that were in there and bought just 250 regular cattle. This is what our money would be. Actually, I lost a little bit of cash, but... That's okay. Also, uh, there's gold coins like kind of all over the place, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to collect that one. I think I put a trigger on top of it, so we're not going to worry about it. Anyway, nonetheless, we have 250 cattle in here. The good thing is they are making manure, but not a lot of it. So that's okay. We're going to take all the manure and the slurry. We're going to throw it in there and let them mix it all up. Yeah. Ooh, does this work yet? I don't think this works yet. This works. I don't know why. Why does that work? I haven't done anything. I'm so confused. There's <laughs> zero liters. Let's let's just turn that off. It's not doing anything. So back to the production chains. I want to take a look and see if maybe butter or cheese is better for us to go. As you can see here, we've got a 15 to 13. So the ratio is very, very good. We're getting 13 times, what was that, 4,800? That's not bad at all. However, cheese, we get a whole lot more, but it's only two times that. So we're getting a whole lot less, but I wonder, butter or cheese, which one makes the most amount of money? Because we're going to have it set to sell. Uh, I mean, every everything's set to sell. I don't know why anything would be any different. So here's an interesting one for you. Butter selling for pretty good. However, cheese is selling for more than twice the profit right there. That's pretty good. And I have no idea which one to do. So I'm going to activate butter and cheese. <laughs> I'm not activating chocolate because it needs sugar and we would have to do sugar cane and well, that ain't happening, is it? So for now, the BGA, it's not doing anything. There's nothing in there. However, 
Butter and cheese and raw milk is selling like hot cakes. Yeet. And these guys aren't doing too bad. Check this out. Check this out. Nice. Please hurry. I'm ready to get this over with. I guess another thing that we could do while we're waiting on everything to actually happen, let's go through and place down all those sell points that we had again, because these sell points were really, really nice. Production, selling points, all the way down to the end. Sell everything, AKA all the things. We're also gonna do like that. Do, 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 do. So we'll place down on two, three. Nice. Also, you can't forget to change the names of all these. Last time, it was just an absolute mess. I'm changing the names on all the sell points to make it easier. All right, here we are. We've got, well, one is done. One's gotta go down, but I figure there's no point for one to go down and the other one down and then one back and then leaving both at the other end of the field. And now I've only got to drive one back up. So that guy's gonna go down, come back, and he'll meet me up here at the top. And then we are completely done, at least for what we've got there. Uh, with the $2 million loan that we've taken out, uh, we might be able to pay back some of it. We've got $221,000 right now. We will wait until the next day in game to see how much money have we made from the milk? How much money have we made from... Well, I guess that's it, huh? It's only milk. Great. So I don't know whose land this is, but I'm definitely going to use it to park my equipment over here. Ha 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 ha. Free money. And we're back to spraying. So there are a couple other things that we got to do to this field. We've got to spray. That's an important thing that's going to have to happen. We've also got to roll this field. I said we were going to do it. Um, and we definitely might. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can get this done. So workers done. Fold it up. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Not bad. In real life, I would have just caused a whole lot of problems. Not in a game, though. Yeah, man. By the way, should we do it? 280? Should we give him the 410? Or should we make him wait? Because this is honestly, like, the most difficult thing that this tractor is going to have to do is pull this trailer, this uh, planter. I say we wait. I don't think there's any reason to load that up. Not just yet. First round of spraying is done. And I do think I'm going to buy another sprayer. But I'm not sure which one I want to go with. We need to take a look at some prices, see exactly what we want to go with. I do know that I want to go with one of the ones from the Kubota pack. The reason for this is these right here, if you go with the XL capacity, they go down slower than they normally would. So I could either go with like something like this. We'll crank that capacity up to XL, which puts us around $71,000. And we'll crank that working with up a little bit as well, but that brings us to 91 grand for 40 meters. However, down here we get, well, not close, but 28, it creates the capacity 43. So we're less than half the price for eh, 12 meters less. I say we just get another one of these. I'm telling, what did I hit? I'm telling you, there's just, there's just some equipment that you've got to use, man. And the Kubota pack equipment, some of it's, you know, fun if you guys are using the Kubota DLC for maybe some, I want to say smaller stuff, but I mean, let's be honest, some of the Kubota equipment is smaller. However, if you go with something a little bit bigger, some of these pieces are really, really handy. This sprayer included. I mean, this sprayer massively included. Fertilizer spreader does it the same as well, by the way. Boom. There you go. All right. I will say the other guy, he's killing it. This is just going to get it done a little bit faster. That's all. I think I know why they call this the farm dairy cheaty. You can literally watch the numbers going up. 368, 142, 369, 370, 370, what? 143, 372, 370. They're going up, man. Quickly. It's going to make a lot of money. They're getting close. Oh, they almost touched. One sprayer put away. Two sprayers put away. Well, bam, and if you think I'm rolling, you're insane. You out your mind. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go do a thing real quick. You ain't even ready for this. See this? See this thing? This roller? Uh-huh. I just sold it. What's up? So I think finally, at least right now, we are done in the game doing stuff. Our field is done-ish. <laughs> you can tell where I pause the game a lot. So I think we're good. One thing I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pay back 
some of this loan, or at least maybe $200,000 of it. So that'll put us down. There you go. So we paid off 10% of our loan on the first day, mainly because we didn't use the money. So what would happen if I were to, I don't know, go to bed right now? I'm gonna save the game before I go to bed because I don't know what's gonna happen. There we go, ba -ba -doo. good, 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 go in here. Uh, I think 9 a.m. is pretty good. I don't think we've got to do anything in game the next day. Plus it's gonna take a few months to grow that wheat anyway. Probably gonna take, I don't know, three months, four months, something like that. Probably November or December we'll harvest it. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, we made too much money. Uh-oh. So who wants to explain where all that money came from overnight, shall we? Uh, so milk is cool. Yeah. Um, it's actually gone up, which is really, really frustrating. Um, butter's been selling decent. Cheese has been selling great. Raw milk has been selling the heck out of it. I physically can't sell enough milk for it to go down. So the milk is going up because it won't process fast enough. We may have to put a third processor down, but I'm not sure that it, I mean, that had to be a fluke, right? There's no way we made $630,000 in one night. How's everybody doing, by the way? Cows, you guys doing all right? You've eaten some food, that's good. Reproduction's up 10%, that's all right. Slurry, 53,000, nice. Milk, 25,000. Um, well, that should go over to the silo in a minute. I don't I don't know what to do. I know exactly what we're gonna do. So I have purchased one of 82 Studios smaller trailers. This will match perfectly with the liquid trailer that we've got on the farm, with the exception that well this one's black and not John Deere green like literally everything else. I don't know. I decided to go with something a little bit different. I kinda wish it was John Deere Green now. We're good. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and collect the manure and collect the slurry that we've got going on here. There's no point to let these keep going for no apparent reason whatsoever. So we'll come around here, pick up the manure. I don't think there's enough to really cause any trouble. No, this trailer will hold 82,000 liters and there's not that much manure here. Ooh, and we get to do this. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's back it in nice and easy. I'm totally the best backwards driver in farm sim. Uh, as long as I got, you know, trailers that love me. And we'll go ahead and dump this all out here. And it should handle itself just fine. And it does. Perfect. So now the manure is processing. We can also go ahead and do that as well. I feel like I'm walking really fast. Yeah. Speed times three? What the heck, man? Since we also got rid of the roller, well, I got a place to put my trailer now. <laughs> Didn't plan that out, but it worked. And secondly, let's grab the slurry. So we're gonna grab our smaller slurry tank that we've got right here. Head over here to our Omatana liquid tanker. And we want to take the slurry out. Well, I wasn't able to hold it all. There was 53,000 liters in there and I can hold 50, but you know what? 50 a day will be all right. Bring this over here to the completely obviously OP just oh this is too much it's super cool though and now we're down into the production and we can see the slurry going into there and you can see the manure being processed slowly but surely in here you could see we've got a lot of different stuff that's going to be going in uh, each one of these works independently of each other which is kind of nice. However, we do have different things that are input and output. So we have a certain amount that goes in and a certain amount that gets kicked out. But the good thing is we got a lot of digestate that comes out of there. So we should be pretty good at least to start off. Now all that's left to do is, well, let time work its magic. With some rain coming, let's go and fast forward time a little bit. We'll go into times 15 and we'll see kind of what happens here. Of course, the power plant can't do anything until it gets any methane. So that's going to take a little bit of time, especially with all of this. We've got it set to spawning right now. I'm going to go through and change the output just so that it gets moving. There we go. All right. So we're set to the first set of spawn. Should be good. Should be good. Maybe. I don't know. We'll let all this process and let it do its thing. Getting close into about noon in the game now. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the time just so we can get to that point quickly. There we go. 
Uh, money is still continuing to go up, up, up. We've now made close to $100,000 since we woke up three hours ago in game. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and head in here and turn this on. I'm not sure if it's even going to work, mainly because... I'm not sure if this is even working, if I push the right buttons. Uh, as far as the power plant goes, still nothing there. Still nothing here. Nothing is being processed. I've activated it. Deactivate, activate, deactivate. So I've, I've run it, but I'm just not quite sure because nothing's happening right there. Uh, maybe if I change my output to distributing... Uh, at one point, maybe I thought that was what it was, but uh, nope. <laughs> I have no idea. So I think at this point, maybe we fast forward into the next day. We'll see if anything's happened here. I mean, the slurry's still in there. It's not being processed. It's not doing anything. Uh, the manure is still going into the fermenter, but it's not actually being fermented. Uh, maybe tomorrow in game, maybe we can do some magic at midnight. See what could happen. However, this is working. And 21 liters in here. Not sure how that happened. So Betty by time it is. Well, it's raining. There's nothing good going on anyway. Hey, how's our field doing, by the way? Oh, I... Oh, looking good. I'm happy. All right, well, our money has doubled once again. Uh, again, I, I think... I think we may have gone a little bit too hard with the milk. It's... It's way too cheaty. Absolutely way too cheaty. Take a look here. You can see nothing has processed. Nothing at all. So I'm just going to go here, deactivate these guys. I'm going to activate it once again just to see. And it still says missing materials. I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Spawn, spawn, selling, distributing. Maybe distributing is what we wanted this whole time. We'll activate that. I don't, man, I don't know. Here's the interesting part. This seems to be working just fine. 5,500 liters are there. Uh, that's not bad at all. If we jump up here to our animals, we got 46,000 liters of slurry. So this is kind of the interesting part. We got less slurry today than we did the day before in game. And we had the cows less time than that. I'm wondering if the cattle are sending their slurry to this guy and this is processing the slurry and taking the solids out of the slurry. Could be the case. So there's one thing I'm looking at here. Uh, well, it's always said materials missing, but I've never done just slurry and just manure before. And it's calling for some silage in here. Now, I have not made any silage. No silage, in fact. Shocker, I'm sure. However, uh, we could buy the silage. Technically, I just put down one of 82 Studios. Buy anything if you want it. We got it stations right here. Well, we could go over here and buy some silage real quick. Won't be that expensive. Oh, it'll be a little bit expensive. That's gonna be a whole lot expensive, actually. Oh, how am I stuck in there? All right, so $10,000. Jeez! 10 grand right there, right in the money. Oh, that's that's a lot, even though, I mean, we're doing okay. Uh, let's see how this goes. Put this down. Pull forward. Back the silage in. Maybe this is the missing piece? I thought we could process each part individually. I did not think that we actually had to have all bits and pieces for this to work. So maybe, just maybe, this is... The missing element. The bee's knees of these missing pieces. I don't know. And we're back on Struggle Bus. I accidentally don't know how to use the BGA farms. Uh, we have a lot of silage in here that is, well, working just great. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. Am I going to fall? Ah! All right. Well, of course we fail. What we've got to do is we are going to kind of take over a few areas, maybe build on just a little bit, and we're going to place down a few mods that have been sent over to us by Mr. Chakamatsi himself. Uh, yeah, they both cost $69,000, by the way. Um, we need to buy a new field. We need to get ourselves a grass field. 
This looks like it will do just fine. Uh, and we're going to have to be able to mow that and pick it up. Now, we got $1.4 million right now. If I was smart, if I'm not, but if I was, I would pay back some loan and be good. Well, we know that's not happening. So, step one. I need a grass field. There's grass in this field, and it's a grass field. Check. Number two. I need some extra land so that I can put productions on. These two look like they will make fine additions. And now I actually own the land across the... Well, instead of just stealing other people's land, which I have been doing. And next, I also need equipment. Because getting mowing done, this thing ain't gonna cut it no more. So off to the only mowing pack that really matters, the Kubota pack. I could easily get some John Deere mowers on here, probably somewhere, but you know what? They wouldn't be half as cool. I think this little 6R can handle all of that. I'm, I'm actually not quite sure, but it might. The, the 8R definitely could, but it ain't got... Well, it ain't ready. However, I will say I am fairly positive that this ain't going to work. I think it'll get close, but I'm just not quite sure. I think it's just going to be a little bit too much weight. Yeah, that that mower just looks to be a little bit too big for this uh, tractor. Got it. Got it. Oh, she's heavy. Yeah, and every time I hit the brakes, it, it does a little dance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these up. Maybe put one there. There we go, put one there, and I'll put this little guy back in here where he belongs. We gonna jump in here now. I don't have a big engine in here. We might upgrade it, possibly. I think the horsepower is gonna be enough. The thing that's not gonna be enough, I don't think, is going to be that front. Yeah, it didn't work. Well, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Uh, let's go and repair it, why not? We'll go in here to customization. I like the wheels, I like everything about this. However, um, we need a front three point. Yeah, that'll do. And how much horsepower do you have? 315? Yeah, that'll be enough. We don't need to do anything crazy. I mean, I had to make it clean, too. What do you think? I'm just going to take some some dirty uh, tractor in the field and stuff? Yeah. No. Aw, oh, man, it says Kubota on it. I think I accidentally selected the wrong thing. Hang on. We're good. <laughs> and now we get to do a little bit of mowing. We'll get everything unfolded. We'll get it good. We need to come up with a game plan, too. I think what I'm going to do is go to the top. All the way down, kind of mess with that myself. Come back through there, hit that. Maybe go one more round. Maybe two headlands. That should be about good enough, I think. That'll be, you know, it should be more than enough. One thing about this field, it is grass and it is covered in grass. Uh, and, and it's, oh, it's not turning on. We're good. I've definitely got myself in a little pickle right here. I got to stop this worker. Before he goes and mows, well, whatever's up there. So I think I'm going to have to get him right up to it and then slam stop. And slam stop. Oh, not bad. That's pretty good. Now, can I make this look good or or nah? Nah, I didn't make that look very good at all back there. All right. There's probably a lot better ways to do this than the way I'm about to do it. So <laughs> sit back and hang tight because this is going to be the wrong way to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So if I pull up here, you can see what I've already harvested. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down through here and I'm going to hit to right there. Then I'm going to hire him on a worker to clean all this up because if we're going to the right here, we should end up on the correct side of this right here. Then won't be too far. We'll come back over here, hire him back on a worker and he'll go this way with it. The same thing for right there. Was that a cow in my right ear? What was that? Uh, anyway, that should work. <laughs> and I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that that should work. So that's great. Let's see how the idiot does here at the end. There we go. I assume he's going to go to the left. Here. Yeah, that, he's going to go that way. I don't want him to go that way. He could. Oh, that's the edge of the map. <laughs> but I don't want him to. What I want him to do is go ahead and hit this. And looks like he's going to. So we'll go and hire that worker up and let him do his thing real quick. Uh, he's going to stop whenever he's done, so it's not like it's going to matter too much where that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking advantage of the situation and pump over this guy. And I'm going to go build somewhere to put all this. Might as well turn the uh, manure separator on while we're at it. You know, it's funny. We take these cows, feed them food, and then send it to the BGA, which then goes through the manure separator... And then back out. And I just realized they need this tractor. Um, and then we put it back in their area as bedding, which then 
turns into manure, which goes back into there and gets separated. How many times is that going to go through? That's nasty. I'm not saying I put my stuff on someone else's land, but if I was going to pick a place, that would have been a great place if I didn't own it. Let's do some building, baby. Yeah, I am going to do very first thing. We're going to go through and I'm just going to kind of flatten this all out. I don't know how much of it I need to get flat or, or how close to the road I need to get with it getting flattened out. But I do know that this, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't quite it, was it? Uh, nope. But you know what? We're... <laughs> we're here now. We've got all this area and I plan on using it for placeables, uh, maybe another area for sheds, stuff like that. Uh, and also, I need to make this nice and flat because he's a little bit curvy to begin with, even though that road, I may have accidentally gotten a little bit too close to it. And by too close to it, I got way too close to that road over there. So we'll try and not get so close to the road over here. All right, so that's our building area. What I need is a few factories. We need to place three of these down. And if I think right... Yeah, they're all right beside each other, which is kind of cool. So the first one is going to be, um, I think this is Omatana's Fermenting Silo mod. We use this at Comms to Farm. It's a really nice mod. It's going to be extremely helpful for us here. That's 30 grand. Then we've got the Grain Mill from Trakamadze. Look at that, the TM Grain Mill, baby, yeah! That costs $69,000 because of course it does. Then lastly, we've got Sandy's Sweet Shop. That's going to be a... Uh, well, it's a bakery is what it is, <laughs> but the name's been changed. Don't tell. I won't tell if you don't. Uh, anyway, we're going to place these down in a way that makes kind of sense and then we can get it in and out and pick these things up and do what we want with them. So I think the first one might, you know, oop, that, yeah, here we go. We'll just put one of these down. How much does it make? $6,900 a month. Of course it does. So the nice thing about the grain mill is I actually don't have to go around towards the back of the grain mill to do anything. So I'm kind of thinking for the grain mill, maybe like here, something like that. We'll do kind of the free build mode that we will pull in, double check it from the other side, just to make sure we're all good over here. No clipping through trees or anything like that. Bam! Oh, hey -oh. got him. All right, now we got the sweet shop. Now sweet shop, we've got to be able to drive around to the back side of it. So I do want to make sure we can at least do that. Now what I'll also say is we're going to be picking stuff up from the grain mill and bringing it over here. So if I've got an area to kind of turn around, that might be very helpful. And lastly, is going to be that fermenting silo. This doesn't have to be near the edge. It doesn't have to be near the corner. Honestly, it could just go like right here. Um, but I do want to put this somewhere where it's, you know, going to be not in the way, but just enough of a way. Uh, maybe like right here, this could be helpful because we could go through. Over here is a buying point, but the silo doesn't take anything that that buying point does. So we can put that here, make sure that free build mode's turned on. It is, what bam good. Now, now we need one other thing. How much money I got left? 174, all right, we're good, man, we're good. I need a drive-through shed that I could place down. That could work, that's too much money. Um, I need something that I could place down that's not gonna be, that's too big, that's not gonna be too expensive or too crazy or too large or too small or too anything. Um, that's too large. I need, none of these work. Oh boy. I need something I could put down so I could drive the headers in there and park them, but I don't think any of those are going to work. Yeah, I may have to go on a, a shed hunt. Ugh, I don't like saying that out loud. How is our mower doing? I'm going to assume that he's almost done or done. Oh yeah. Hey! Look at that timing, that's pretty good. All right, we'll get out of here real quick. Quick little mowing spree and we're good there. Now I get to hire him on a worker over here and be good. Also, you could tell going down through here that they got every bit of grass that was right there. As a matter of fact, they lined it up pretty darn good too. That makes me really, really happy. All right, we'll just hire him up here and uh, all of this grass is gonna be going over to be making silage because we don't really need much other than that. So we're good. And hire worker. Do your thing. All right, here we can start drawing in the landscaping and things like that. I'm just gonna give you a uh, quick, check this out. All right, not bad. So far the road is down, well the pathway anyway. And now the painting is done. Not too bad, right? Looks really good. And there it is basically done or at least as done as I'm gonna make it. You guys wanna check this out? Yo, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. It was a little bit expensive, a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but you know what? It's all good. Actually, as a matter of fact, we've 
gained a little bit of money as we went because the time went forward. So this is our TMR silo right here. We'll put the grass in. We'll get the TMR out. Then we will have to drive around here, which hopefully there will be nothing in our way because if there is, well, that's going to suck. Uh, we can come in from the side as well. And I made this entrance a little bit bigger. Uh, I have gone through and put down some tiles. So places where the building seems like it would make sense. Well, it does make sense. Kind of cool. All right. I got a lot of grass to pick up. I should probably go do that. And we're ready. We got the last bit of grass right here. We got 1 million liters. I've already put in a few, which should be probably close to done by now. Something like that. We'll swing it around real quick. I figured out this area right here is a little bit tighter than I want it to be. So we will, uh, I guess, cross that bridge when we have to. Let's go in here and take a look at what we got. So production, grass silage, that's the one that we want. And we'll go ahead and activate it. And we want it to spawn, which is going to spawn inside the pit. I could also do, I don't know, I could probably send it over to the BGA automatically, but that's eh, more fun to do it myself. So that's dumping in. That's good. We got a lot of grass in there and silage is already being made which makes me very, very happy. If we come over to the BGA, well, actually, we don't need to. We'll just take a look at it in here. Uh, the farm dairy? Nope. Fermenting silos? Not. Nope, nope. That's not it. Maybe it's up here. Here we go. Silage is in. It's going in. Things are good. Uh, torches uh, just went inactive. Uh, cogeneration plant, one. <laughs> so there's nothing there, at least right now. It's just not moving fast enough. Over tonight, we should see a lot of movement. Also, over the night, um, we should see enough growth to start harvesting the wheat. Oh, yeah. And why did I put down a green mill in a sweet shop? Because I'm going to put making a lot of flour. It's flower simulator, after all. Coming up on the one-year anniversary of Farm Sim 22. We got to do that. And then we're going to make some bread. We're going to sell it. I'm real good at doing all that. Oh, yeah. My milk's going over there, too. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And it looks like that might be a little bit it for right now. We're going to go and fast forward into the next day in game. We should have a lot of money there. As a matter of fact, we got $202,000 here. And I'm going to go ahead and take that and put that towards how much money I owe. This should get us down to about 1.6 mil. Somewhere around there. Eh, yeah, there you go. 1.6 million. Not bad. Probably in the morning. A lot of that's going to be made up. Oof. <sighs> you smell that? It's harvest time, baby. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is harvest time up in here. We are about to get it started, and I'm going to start with the S780 right here. I'm loving this thing. I modified it. I mean, just the littlest, tiniest, littlest, litty. I modified it a lot. Just hush. I also don't quite know how I'm going to do this because it's over there. Um, I got an idea. How about we pay off some of this loan? And if you're looking at that going, DJ, how did you get $3.2 million? Um, milk, milk in the BGA. Um, I can actually prove it because we're on the finances page. Okay, we got $1.6 million. Anybody want to have a party? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, yeah, you can see right here, we got $2.2 million from the biogas plant once I finally got silage in there. So that's kind of nice. You can see harvest income. We're doing pretty good, and we made $57,000 already. And guess what? It's 9 in the morning! Ah! And that's not to say we also made $253,000 just today on other products. Milk, $260,000 there. $653,000 there. Um, we're making a lot of money. What's 128 production costs? Get out of here. So we have a current net profit of 520 dollars Whatever. Oh, my game crashed. Oops. And we're back. Uh, maybe playing with overclocking a little bit and probably push some buttons. I shouldn't have. Uh, hey, at least we get to start this all over again. Yay. wonder if these people will let me turn around in their yard. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Let's try this one more time. I don't know if I'm going to run two combine harvesters on this field. I don't know if I'm going to run one. By the way, it's harvest day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, I gotta drop that little thing, don't I? Yeah. I will say one thing. Custom mining have made this super easy to get in and out and use this little trailer that comes with that. Hard to complain. Oh yeah, oh, I'm so excited. So we have a massive field of 
wheat to uh, harvest right here. Largest field, at least that I could see all together. We've combined five fields, and now we've got a whole lot of money. Currently, we've got 600 and whatever it is, 1.6 million. Um, it's funny because we still can't afford the <laughs> the most expensive field on the map yet. Hey, but we're going to we gonna get it. We're going to get it. I also think it's funny. I have not purchased the uh the, the farm yet the like the actual farm the farm up here i haven't bought it should we do that i don't know i feel like we're just way way beyond that at this point so we are going to, oh yeah i forgot we gotta unfold everything don't we there we go Ooh, that's a sound right there so we're gonna run through we are going to hit uh this field i don't think it's gonna take that long. I'm not actually sure how large this header is, but it's pretty massive. How big is this header? 18.3 meters. Why did I buy the big one? <laughs> uh, whatever. When in Rome, right? Also, uh, look what's on sale right now. Ooh, it's a 40 series. Should I get it? All right, well, this may take a little bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, we're at 25% already, and I'm not even to the end of the field yet. <laughs> I do need to slow it down a little bit because it's gonna stop and it stops really well. Oop, boom, just like so. Uh, however, it is a lot. That's a lot of straw, man, oh man. And I still gotta finish up this headline as well. Boop, there we go. We'll just let the straw kind of fall out the back. There you go. All right, let's finish up this first headland and I guess go ahead and dump. Um, I need a cart because we've got those little trailers but i feel like with the amount of money we've got now we deserve something a little bit better and a little bit cooler uh, and just as i expected uh this doesn't work <laughs> i'm gonna have to come down i think a little bit lower on this ground unless i want to like oh what am i stuck on a tree get out of here uh unless i want to really try and level this out which i think is gonna take some time uh and i'm not sure doing it like now is a good idea uh regardless um this ain't this ain't flat enough for me to actually do this job certainly not gonna stop me from trying though is it so the money has gone down and i bought something but i can't tell you what i got all i can tell you is it matches what i'm driving right now yeah here's a few things that i bought i know that trailer's covered it up but we are going real American. We've got 82 Studios Max Superliner X. We've got his uh, tipper. And I decided to go with this. The American Striped All Green Demco Grain Cart with tracks, baby. I thought it fit perfect with this 9RX. We really haven't used the 9RX with anything, so... This had to be it. Oh yeah, and time is set at zero for at least today's episode with uh, with rain on the way. I don't know when. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Just saying that. <laughs> All right, can we do it? And can we do it without destroying any crops? The answer's no. <laughs> the header's too big. Well, two can play at that game, sir. Wa-bam. This little guy, uh, I'm really not sure what this is for, but it was on sale. And that seemed like a pretty good reason to buy it. It's starting to look like a big old American farm over here, and I like that a whole lot. So we'll go ahead and take this, and we'll dump it out. Uh, the trailer, if I remember correctly, holds uh, 1 million liters, I think. And then our auger wagon right here, that's going to hold about half a million liters. That way, uh, well, we're good to go. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if that tipper holds that much or not. It may not hold that much. Who knows? Nonetheless, uh, let's see if we can jump in here real quick. We'll bump it down to the end, and then I'm just going to hire him on a worker going back and forth. I got to get our other combine, though. I think the other combine harvester is the only way that we're going to be able to do the top of this field. Oof. We're only going to need to make, like, two passes, but we're definitely going to have to make those two passes. So let's give it a try, and I have no idea where the header for this thing is. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh. Can I have it? Yes, I can. Let's go, 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 go. Tell you what, it's been a hot minute. IRL, it's probably been two weeks since I drove this combine. <laughs> I do a lot of stuff ahead of time. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's get it done. I am going to do this myself, at least to a certain point, and then I'll hire a helper on it and see what we can get into. Hopefully this header is small enough to actually do this job. It may not be. 
I guess we'll find out, won't we? So far, so good. We should start seeing issues here in the next few moments. If there's going to be any at all, now we're on a straight line. Go and hire the worker and let him go. Uh, it's, it's definitely not as even as I would like it to be, but it is working. This combine harvester header is, what, less than half the size of the other one? So I think we'll be okay. Speaking of that other one, how full are we? Uh, we're almost 50%, so we're probably going to need to do a little bit of carting when he's coming back. But this... This seems to be working pretty good. Up here is going to be the steepest part of this. If we run into any problems, well, I thought it was going to be back there, but, well, maybe it's... Maybe it's up here? I don't know. No issues. Performed flawlessly. So, we'll let this guy do his thing. I think probably just these two runs is going to be more than enough. But, uh, I don't know. You know, you never know what might happen. I must say, I'm extremely pleased with how well this idea worked. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to hang on to this combine harvester or not. I'll be, I'll be straight with you. I uh, wasn't quite sure if I wanted to hang on to this harvester or sell it. But I think we made the right decision to hang on to it. And just like that, 19,000 liters of wheat later, this guy's job's done. Boom, baby. I will say, pretty frustrating part is I can't actually cart with this harvester right here. And, <laughs> you know, I'm not... It's a bit, it's a bit frustrating. Um, the... The auger, though it looks like it goes all the way to the end, doesn't quite actually do that. So I've got to come over here and manually do it or bring a tractor over. This seems to be the easiest thing. I mean, it's fine. It's just a bit annoying, that's all. All right. Nonetheless, we'll bring him over. We'll bring that pipe in. We'll hire him up on his worker again and just keep doing this. We have got a lot done though. Man, look at this field. It is already moving. And as for the Mac, we've got 164,000 liters of wheat already. Is that a chicken? And also remember when it's all said and done. Oh, my, my fermenter. I should probably go put some of that in there. Um, all of that is going to be going over here and we're going to be making wheat flour with it and then we're going to be making bread from there because well this is flour simulator after all now seems like as good a time as ever as getting at this guy we've got the john deere 4440 on here we'll go ahead and hook up hopefully this isn't too tight of a drive i need to pick up this our silage that we made we'll come through here should just start dumping up nope, grass a hey, silage right there oh that's heavy Oh, it's heavy! There has got to be an easier way to get this silage over here other than just using a trailer. I mean, it's fine. This is gonna take a minute, I guess, that's all. Uh, we've got a bunch of manure still left in there. If I if I bump up, we could take a look and see exactly what's in there. So, uh, we got, well, 22,000 liters of manure. That's not a bunch, but as you can see, our ratio is way, way different from each other. So I think loading this up with as much silage as possible, at least to start with, it's probably the way to go. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, some things have changed and I decided to start running two combine harvesters on here, just kind of going back and forth. Now I have signed out and logged back in. See what the trees are doing right now? I don't, I don't, I don't know what kind of like spoopy party they're trying to have in November, but Halloween's over. You're still a tree. Quit trying to pretend you're a flickering tree. I don't, I don't know, that, <laughs> that metaphor didn't really work. Oh yeah, and I got a bigger pipe on the combine. So the one I had on there was a foldable 26 and a half foot. However, there was an extra 28 foot as well. So I'm hoping the extra um, foot and a half, something like that. I'm hoping that that kind of pays off here. Let's see if we can get this thing out just a little bit and see, can we do it? Yeah! Now if I could just keep this stupid thing straight, not crashing anything, we'll be all right. I love it. It's a battle. One's going one way. I don't know where he's going. And this one's going this way. I don't know where he's going. Actually, I think I'm in there, right? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> JK, JK, I got it. So that's a fun way if you guys want to just like look around at your stuff. Just go into build mode while you're you know, here. You know, it's kind of fun. Kind of neat. Kind of interesting. It also helps you keep an eye on things. Yeah. You know, I've had a lot of problems with dumping into trailers, and I don't think it's the trailer's fault. 
I see you, 9610. It's your fault. One thing I will say, if we're going to be moving forward with some massive, massive fields like this, I think we may want some more help. Also, you can see we've got $1.2 million now instead of like, what was it? Five or six hundred thousand, whatever it was. I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe nothing happened. There's just a lot of money there, and I don't. I think I can tell you where it all came from. <laughs> Money's just piling in like crazy. Before we know, it, we're gonna own most of this. Uh, well, everything. We're gonna own most of this everything. One other thing that I'm checking out. So you see, we've got sold milk here and sold products here. Both of those are milk products. Here's what I'm thinking. Since we've got that. Why don't we buy some more cattle? We could probably spend about a million dollars on cattle or at least go up from the the amount of cows that we have in there and double it. I think we got 250 in there, if I remember correctly. If we can bump that up to 500, that money's going to double as well. It's going to cost us about a million dollars, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more to buy that many cows. And man, these trees are really getting on my nerves. Um, we could uh, We could do that. And then I think after like two days, three days in game, it'll pay for itself, which might not be too bad. Oh, this is really messing with me. I gotta, I gotta like exit out or something and come back in. Hang on. I'm back. Are the trees done? Are they done doing their thing? Seems, seems okay. Oh no, they're back. Ah, oh, crap. So step one is to be getting all of this grain over to the grain mill so that it could finally start turning all of this into wheat. Wheat? No, this is already wheat. Uh, uh, flour. Yeah, flour simulator. So total, we've got 566,000 liters in here. And I also figured out if I go to first person, oh no, never mind. They still flicker. It's just less annoying. So I guess there's that. So we have all of this wheat. We are going to take it over here to the grain mill. We're probably going to have to back in because I've got it set up in a way where I think it's going to be pretty difficult to actually pull in there. And I think I may have to remodel this entire area because it is tough driving back in there. At least get rid of the fences because they are not helping me at all. Best backwards driver in Farm Sam, Trucker Matsy, get at me, bro. Got it. Oh yeah, speaking of Trucker Matsy, this is his grain mill. Maybe don't get at me so quickly. All right, we'll dump it out. We'll see what we've got in here in our production down here at the bottom. Wheat flour. Activate, baby. Yeah. And now we also want to take the uh, flour that's going to spawn. We could technically um, have it spawn, but that's going to be a lot. So I'm just going to change our output to distributing. And there's only one place that will take wheat or flour, rather. And that's going to be this place right here we should see stuff coming in i don't know sometime <laughs> uh until that time uh that's it for this one welcome to a very very dark and ominous november morning where the time is well still the same as it was yesterday because <laughs> we haven't gone anywhere today we're going to be building up the infrastructure on our farm we also have a bunch of straw to pick up as well uh, we'll get to that eventually. There's a few different things I want to do. First up is going to be to add at least one, if not two more of these bunkers in here. That way I could go ahead and ingest more stuff. The second thing I've actually already done, I removed all of the fences from this area, giving us a little bit more room to turn and get in and out of here. That should help a lot. And thirdly, I want to add a silo and everywhere that I've looked, I think this might be the spot right here. So that's what we're going to do first so in silos i got this bad boy right here i believe this was a schultz modding mod anyway i've i may have done some stuff to it uh and we're gonna put it right what bam there that is a pretty good place for it uh this will take in bales it'll take all kinds of stuff uh, i just took his numbers and added a few zeros as always so now we can come in here and go in and add a few more bits and areas here now i gotta remove some trees because we do have some trees in the way and i also have some fences and stuff here that i need to remove as well fortunately for me demolish works really easy there and we're able to delete uh those little bits too which is kind of nice let's see if i can get right down on the bottom of this without actually selecting that oh this is difficult Oh, come on. Let me know. I don't want to do that. All right. Well, those are just going to stay there then because I don't know what else to do with that. I do need to get the trees. That's going to be in here. And I think this will do it. And oh, 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 oh. 
Goodbye. And goodbye to you, please. Please goodbye. Uh-oh, can't delete that tree. Oh, evidently can. Goodbye. And then I don't know if these are trees or if these are planted items. Well, there's one easy way to find out. Landscape, painting, dirt. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Go and get rid of a few more areas around there. And now I think we are ready to jump into, I believe it's productions. Yeah, yep, there it is. And add these guys right here. I want to add a minimum of one, but I'm thinking two might be a good way to go. Uh, there is going to be a bit of clipping. Sorry. Really, I want these just to match up in the front. So I should probably close these so I can do that. Make sure free build is turned on and what bam There's one. And then we'll do, I don't know, one more. All right there. Look pretty good. Give a little what bam Probably add a fifth one in here as well, if I'm completely honest with you guys. Uh, and it might actually be a good idea. Let's see if I can. I got the money for it. We do have a big tree in the way, but I'm not sure anybody's really going to complain about that. So we'll just get it lined up kind of right-ish. Right around with the back, right around with the front, and wha bam Oh no, I forgot to turn on the free build with that one. Oops. And I think a little painting can't fix. We're also going to go in here and go and demolish all of these bits because I'm going to add new ones. Check this out. So we'll start off with the hedge because that's always the easiest one. Ba boop There we go. I could also maybe run these down the center. I think I've got them down the center. Yeah. Can I even do this? Is that going to work? Oh yeah, that does work. Like really well. Hey, that looks cool. It takes up a lot of that extra space that there would literally be nothing going on with as well. I wonder if I can connect from here, maybe? Ooh, having a hard time. Yep. Got it. Figured it out. I just don't know where I am now. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, build mode is cool, but you can get involved with some trees and you can get yourself in some trouble. With four of those five bunkers now filled up with silage, I got a little bit extra. So let's bring it over to our brand new silo. And we'll just go ahead and dump it all in there. Ba boom Well, that was easy, wasn't it? All right, so now that we've got everything, I've got 40,000 liters, which it says it can take 40,000 liters more of, ouch, uh, of manure. So I wonder if it'll only take 40,000 liters more intake, or if I can actually only put 40,000 liters in. These will hold, I think it's 75,000. We'll, we'll take a look here and see. Is that going up? No, it's not. So I could go ahead and put as much of that in there as I want. We're gonna fill that thing up. And a second dumper should fill us all the way to the tippy top. Hopefully there won't be anything left in the trailer. Nice, all right. I don't think that's exactly how much it'll hold, but it'll hold a good amount. Which it should tell us down at the bottom. No, that ain't doing it. All right, well, there we go. We'll go ahead and raise these three up, get that ready to go. There is one other thing that I want to do, and that's going to be slurry. Now, usually this mass amount of slurry won't fit in there. And slurry, unfortunately for us, is not a total amount that we could just kind of throw in willy-nilly however we want. We can double the amount of slurry. However, we're going to have to do a little bit of work down there. If I wanted to double it, I would need to put in another fermenter, which I've kind of considered taking over this space cutting down the trees and putting at least one if not two more fermenters down we've got kind of everything that we need right now we've got two power plants which is more than enough five intakes plus the slurry intake here on the side and not one but two different flamethrowers so I, I think adding a couple more fermenters might be the way to go. I think it might be the way to go, but I guess we would have to wait and see. The one thing about this is the slurry goes directly in. So you might be able to watch the slurry right here. That number is going to skyrocket. And when it's all said and done, we've still got another uh, 16,000 liters of slurry in here. That is one thing we are not utilizing very quickly or using very fast is the slurry. So I'm just gonna have to put it back in here. Oh yeah, if you thought I was gonna use anything other than that, you're out of your mind. And since money is literally growing on trees right now here in this map, I'm gonna take this John Deere, 
and we're gonna boost it a little bit. So let's customize it. Uh, we've got everything about it that I want. However, we don't have that engine set up. So let's bump up to the ADAR 370. I still want the CVT. I know we could go up to the 410, but that's a power shift and I'm not interested in the power shift. So there we go. We're good there. We also need to repaint it 29 grand. <laughs> no, I'm good. We're good. Here's where it's gonna be fun. I don't actually know if I can pick up two rows or if I can pick up one row. Um, I can pick up two rows, but it's not gonna be easy. So it looks like we are doing these one at a time. I could probably put some kind of windrow system in the front of this and work, but it, I just don't think it's gonna work. Not completely, not every time. So I'm gonna take the time and I'm just gonna pick all this straw up. How much you think's out here? If you guessed 2,340,876, you would be right on the money. Did you get it? So there's really only a few places that this is gonna be going. First is going to be to the cows. As you know, we got, well, twice the amount of cows yesterday than we had before. So that's gonna go in there to fill up them. We'll double check just to make sure. Yep, full of straw. With the remainder going to our new silo, at least for now. I'm sure at some point we'll come in here and do something, but for now, we'll just kind of fill this up. Now we got a bunch of straw. We don't need the money, so we don't have to buy the straw. Actually, we could sell the straw and then buy more straw to fill up the amount of straw that we sold and bought, and we'd actually make more money. Look, yep, yeah, you don't believe me? Check this out. I should probably back up. That train comes through. We are done. Check this out. So we've got a uh, straw selling for about $150 per thousand liters. Well, I can buy it for 30,000 or for three, th th 30 bucks, not 30 bucks. So I can literally sell it and then buy it back for one fifth price. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Well, there was one other thing I wanted to do as well. So of course we are taking our wheat flour and we are making sure that it distributes. So we're going to make sure that it distributes here, spawns in here, uh, and we are going to activate that. And I'm also going to change this output. Right now it's set to spawning. I'm going to set it to selling. So now I have just an automatic, just everything's automatic. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to sell anything. I don't have to do nothing. And also we're heading to our very own sell point that we placed down station bay or selling bay number three. And that's where we're going to sell all this straw. I know not everybody's able to use the, uh, you know, put whatever you want, wherever you want mod. But if you are, I definitely recommend putting a couple selling stations back here. They look cool. They're exactly like where you would expect them to be. So it feels like there should be selling points here and they don't overlap with each other. There we go. We'll sell all that. How much do we make? 340,000. Um, and it would cost us 300,000 to fill this trailer up. Kid you not. But since we don't technically need that, I think we're good. I gotta figure out where to put this trailer though. Man, I got too many trailers and too many stuff. I need just a place, an area that has a bunch of storage that I could just park trailers because this is getting this is getting slightly out of hand. And now it's time to get back to work. Uh, we got a lot of spraying to do, a lot of fertilizing to do. The production chains, they're fine. They're probably gonna make us more money than anything. However, we still got this big old field here and we got field two as well. I got grass in there still needs to be mowed, but you know what? I'm probably not gonna worry about that right now. We don't need it and I may, oh, <laughs> goodbye sign. Uh, we may only use that field specifically when we need it. And I don't really think we need it right now. What I do need, however, is to get this tractor fixed. Uh, it's a little bit not fixed right now. Repair three grand, goodness gracious. We'll go and repair everything while we're at it. $14,000 to repaint? I think not. No, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and hire it on this uh, area right here as well. Double check, make sure we're good to go. Fast farming, enabled. We're set. Heck yeah, man. Oop, there's the train. We barely missed him. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hire this worker here because I'm gonna be back hopefully with a full headland by the time that this guy gets to where he needs to go. Where are we at? Here we are. Now I can just take over and finish the headland and he'll come down through here, be fine. 
I'm so good at this. All right, well, I didn't exactly make it down here in time, but I think it'll be just fine. As you can see, we've definitely got a bit of a spot right here where it's, well, it's not missed. It's just not there anymore. I am going to hit it twice, though. That way, we've got a bit of a buffer down here on the end. That way, our sprayer doesn't come by and hit nobody. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to run back up to the top. We're going to run back and forth. We'll see how fast we get this field done. And there she goes. Off to do it herself. Let's double check on everybody else. See how we're doing here. All right. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Only 92% as well. By the way, in the last episode, we talked about how you should buy the Kubota mowers that we were using. Here, you should definitely buy this Kubota, well, branded sprayer. This is from the Kubota equipment pack from Iconic. And it's just awesome. It uses less solid, or, well, less fertilizer, less everything when you use the unrealistic versions as you would expect. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Uh, what does that say? It needs rolling? <laughs> oh, remember when I said something about like, yeah, it'd be really cool if we could just, you know, do rolling. <laughs> no, thank you. And we're coming to an end. That is going to be the first fertilization stay down. And we are going to get ourselves, well, we're actually going to kind of do a little bit fireworker thank you you have nowhere to go bud uh we're going to do some fun stuff because i want to do corn yeah i haven't done corn yet so we'll put all of our sprayers in this person's front yard which i keep using uh you know if they just behave themselves they wouldn't have a bunch of stuff in the front yard that's all i'm saying ah yes the uh kinsey planters here which have the blue on them because I accidentally overread the old way of doing it. My bad. Also, a little bit, a little bit eh, through here. Um, should have just jumped over here. So I think this might be where we have to leave it, at least for now. We are ready to get planting. However, there's a few things that I need to do, like, well, overriding this so that's not blue anymore. And so that we've got actual colors that are correct and not little pieces of blue everywhere so tune in for the next one right here on griffin indiana welcome back to flickery strobe light trees farm which is not doing it right now yo i got an idea we're gonna start off with dj has an idea all right so you know into the pumps and hoses we've got the fermenter which takes silage well that's an incoming material i've got a fermenting silo over here that i think the only input that takes silage that i've got is exactly where i'm sending it so why in the world would i not just set this silage to distributing i don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> it might it probably won't but it might something that will work however as well all the strobe lighty trees going on in the background we got grass to, well, I say grass. We got stuff to do here. Oh, there, there is one mod that I want to download real quick because it saves us so much time. I deleted it like an idiot. Okay, well, I downloaded two mods, but one of them just kind of hangs out. This is the seedbed reconsolidation. Um, it sets a rolled status for sewing machines. Why would I not use that? That's awesome. All right, so now there shouldn't be any blue back here. There isn't. Sorry about that, Jay Dirk. And we are ready to go. Let's do it, man. So as I talked about the last time, we're doing corn, which means that our harvesters are going to need some corn headers. We'll go through and see what we could find there. However, at least through right here, we're going to go ahead and hire up a uh, set of workers and do our best to run some headlands and stuff like that so we've got it we found it turn it on hire up the worker rock and roll now we need our second one where is he at where is he where's the little booger there he is so we want to do the same thing with this one as well we'll double check make sure fast farming is enabled make sure we're on corn and we'll give it just a second Wait until that guy gets down there, because I want to give myself enough time to turn around. That's probably good enough. We'll go ahead and hire him on, on a worker and let him go. Rock and roll, baby. Yeah. All right. Let's double check, make sure everything's good. We're turning green. We're looking good here. We'll hit rolled. Uh, however, oh, no. What are you doing, man? Keep going. Don't be a fool. Oh, I don't know what just happened, but like he just stopped there for some reason. Almost like a tree was in the way, maybe? Oh, goodness. I don't... <laughs> well, you know what they say. 
Now, if at first you don't succeed, fire your worker and try again? Do they say that? I don't know. All I know is this idiot runs straight into that every time, and it cracks me up so much. How's that guy? Is he on his way? Eh, we got a little bit of time. Hopefully he doesn't turn around on his own like this dude did. Now, don't get me wrong. He's still going to fly through here, and he's going to hit it, and it's going to hurt. But... At least with this guy, I can run here. We're gonna run three headlands on this end. We'll say one down, one, two, three here on the end. We'll head down to the other end. We'll do the exact same thing and then hire them on workers and let each of them do kind of whatever they're gonna do. Oh, <laughs> please tell me he goes, yay! <laughs> ah, he put on the brakes. Boo! Heading back the other way. This ought to be fun. Is he gonna hit it? Ooh! <laughs> Toasted! Or. Or whatever, I don't know. Can you imagine that being my, my catchphrase instead of, Yo, what's going on, baby? Hey, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Toasted. What? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. And now we have finally made our back way, way around. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Drop them down, turn it back on, rock and roll. Uh, probably just going to hit two headlands here on the very end because I'm going to flip up back to the top of the field and just hire both these on a worker and let them rock and roll. Hopefully, they'll both get everything taken care of. And then we could go searching for a, uh, a corn head because I don't know which one I'm going to go with and fire the worker. Oh, I still hit it. Also, one thing, I, I don't know when Hispanic Modding's corn head's going to be releasing, but it ain't out yet, at least at the time recording this video. But that's definitely the one that I'm going to be buying. So whatever one I get, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be trading it in for sure. And there they go. Workers are on a roll. Hitting some stuff. Now, there are a couple little spots here and there we are going to have to hit. Looks like the planting worked in those spots. However, the rolling did not. So I'll figure out kind of what's going on there. But at least the way they're sitting now, we'll just leave them be and have a good time. But I do want to look into some uh, headers. Oh, yeah. Is there anything used? I mean, there's this, but I'm not sure how much this would actually be beneficial on our farm. It's kind of cool, but I don't know, I feel like it might be a waste of money. And it only holds 25,000 liters. Yeah, I'm not sure that would be really beneficial to anything we're doing. Though it is awesome. I'll give you that. It is pretty cool. So there's many different versions, at least right now, that we could go with. So we've got this version, which is kind of cool. We could go all John Deere green on it. We could also go with just a straight up John Deere one. Uh, right here, we could go with a uh, stock masters on it, lights, attachments. We could go with just about everything you want on here. There's plenty, plenty of options. Or we could be a little bit stupid uh, and go with, uh, well, whatever, whatever's going on here. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um... That's, that is nifty, I guess, to say the least. Well, I'll tell you what, pricing and everything considered, I think we're going to go with this one right here. This was a 616C from 2014. We're just going to go with one of those, I think, for now. Well, we got two combine harvesters, don't we? How big's the other one? I don't, I don't know if the other one's quite big enough to handle that. Nonetheless, we'll do that. We'll also, check out, make sure we're good with seed. Seed's doing just fine. I didn't actually get that one. Uh, I got over here and I was like, oh, I don't know how to get this out of here without a without a header trailer. And, and none of the header trailers work with this. So we've gone for this. Uh, let's see, we'll clean them up real quick. There we go, now they now they both match. Open them up, we've, so we've gone with the Capeo Quasar 12-ish uh, meter header. I believe this is a modified type version for Farming Simulator 19. So I'm not sure if this is a version from 22 or not, but it works and the sounds are actually there as well, leading me to believe that this might be on Mod Hub. Since our next harvest will be corn, I don't think there's really any reason to not have this attached right now. So we'll bring it in here and park it up and let it be. And we are almost done. So we've got one worker on one end and one worker that is right behind him right there. All I got to do is get in here and fertilize one more time, and then we could finally start moving forward. Uh, and we're going to be moving forward pretty quickly as well. I don't know exactly how far forward, but I do know that we've got a lot of... Uh, there's a little bit messed. Uh, we got a little bit of catch it up to do. 
As far as uh, little bits and pieces, we've got our factories we need to make sure that are working right. Um, of course, if it snows, we got to figure out what in the world and how to do things and whatever. I don't know if it snows, it's probably not gonna be a big deal. We're also gonna be taking over a few pieces of land as we go through as well. Um, as you know, I'm not using the main farm that you get on this, so we're just kind of building things as we need it so we're not using any uh any big structures or anything like that hopefully the silage goes through as well we could probably go mow that now but we don't need to so i don't see a reason to do that here we go here's that we're going to unfold this as well oh that's quick tell you what not too bad things are moving great one other really nice thing i'll just ignore the glitchiness right now I've reset my uh, graphics driver so it's having fun um one other really neat thing I'm kind of excited about is all the extra money that we're going to be making. I'm kind of looking forward to having, I don't know if an unlimited supply of money is the right wording to use here, but having extra, some extra cash, some extra flow. Let's go and fill that up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of fun to have a bunch of money to play with and just build. That's going to be a great time. Plus, after a year, we should be getting some more cattle as well. I think we got 250 of them right now. 250, 250. Okay, so uh, we got two sets of cattle. So once the reproduction rate on these increases, we're going to hit that 1,000 cattle limit uh, as soon as both of those breeds do their thing. And we're not going to have to worry about it anymore, which is going to be really nice. Go through with that. There we go. Hire worker. And I accidentally put this over here. Ooh, flashy lights. Pretty. And just like that. Oh, that's the cow screen. Just like that, we're done. See all these little spots around? These happen every time I jump around to a new vehicle or that the game kind of freaks out a little bit. Um, currently running everything pretty hefty right now. So... FPS is low, high, plus I'm running an 8K, dubbed down to 4K in the software, and then dubbed down to 1080p for the final product. So yeah. Gonna push this 3090 Ti to the limit. But the good thing is now we are done and I shouldn't have to drive any tractors around, at least not really, um, till I guess uh, when we get into the new year. Currently it's November. We'll double check on our cattle real quick just to make sure we got enough food for these guys. Yeah, there's plenty of food there. So we got milk coming out, slurry coming out, uh, but everything else is rocking pretty good. So uh, let's take, um, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Let's go to bed. Yeah, into December and uh, well, we got some money. I, I don't know what I hit, but um, I think 12 million is probably too much. Trucker Matsy, what did you do, man? Uh, let's see. We got 4.3 million from biogas. Okay, that's not the biogas's fault. Uh, I did that. Sold products, 4.4 million. Okay, that that is Trucker Matsy's fault. Uh, <laughs> hey, and miscellaneous, 6,200 bucks. That's awesome. Um, that still doesn't quite explain where all the money came from, but I guess I guess it's fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We do have uh, manure is down. However, slurry. Oh boy, what's going? On? Silage is still going through. Um, manure's fine. Uh, slurry. We definitely need some slurry. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Uh, the silage. Yo, this went down, so it worked. That's great. That's good. Everything here is working fine. Um, I don't... <laughs> That's too much money! All right, well, if we're going to accidentally make too much cash, let's fast forward to about midday. That'll work perfectly fine for me. And we need to get some of this area up and running because I want to expand my BGA out. The one thing about some of these natural areas is you don't know what is a... Uh, a bush and what is actually well a tree but it looks like we've got everything situated here what i did was i just came in and painted oh looks like i may have missed something down here yeah so i've come in here and i've painted down grass what that allows me to do or plants and then grass meadow sorry it allows me to see all right so what's left whatever's left is 
a tree. So I'm just gonna go in, turn on my delete objects key and hit end as soon as I'm around it. There we go. And that should help clear all this area out. And I think that's everything. We'll, we'll just kind of do a quick double check from the above. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool, 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 cool. I need to get my player character out of here because, well, he's an idiot and he'll probably die. There you go, bud. All right, so now we've got all of this area. Uh, one other thing I should probably do before I start moving, let's go and buy that. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oops. Um, so now we need to kind of adjust the land that we've got on here. Uh, see, where's my mouse? There we go. So I'm going to come through and demolish some of these extra bits right here because, uh, well, these don't matter anymore because I'm going to completely delete this area of uh, being right here. So we'll head to landscaping. We'll head into painting once more and we will hit all the way out to that edge making this straight on. We also have a sign right here that I need to be aware of at least, but for now, I think it's gonna be okay. One thing I do wanna do kind of is leave this bit open right here. You can see we've got a natural road in, and then this area right here, I've got an area that can be used here. I can dump power if I need to. So I'm going to leave that open at least for now. We'll create our own little oomph right into that. But uh, I think for now, let's go in. Let's find ourselves, um, nope, I don't know, a way to place this down. Uh, grass is always good because I'm going to have to come through and paint grass in areas later anyway. So I may as well just paint it all now and get it over with. And then once I'm ready with that, I could come in and I can start placing stuff down where we've got plenty of money to do so. So uh, we're gonna come in and I'm gonna place one of these bad boys down quite literally right beside the other one. They're both exactly the same. One of them is our primary and then the other is going to be the secondary. I wanna get these close, but not too close. And I also wanna get close-ish to the road, but not too close-ish to the road. About right there, I think. Right there should go good. Yeah, ma'am. And then I'd like to place a third down. Hey, if I can, might as well, right? So I want to get as close as I'm able to without kind of overdoing it a little bit. About right there. Yeah, man. All right. So now we've got all of those. We got three fermenters. Holy cow. Ooh. Um, and then the intake goes into each one. Okay. So uh, I would say, I guess, join in for the next one. We'll continue the build. I tell you guys what, we have come a long way here on Griffin, Indiana. I mean, we have completely built up our own BGA system, which uh, to be fair, I totally could have done in the BGA area where you're supposed to do it in the first place, right here. Yeah, I could have done it there much, much easier. As a matter of fact, we own, I think, some of this. Can we delete that? Yo, I can make money by selling the BGA that's already here. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, can I still? Yeah, I can sell all. Well, not all of this, but I can sell some of this. The Stone Crusher? Yeah. Yo, are you kidding me right now? I could sell half of this junk and just. Really? All right. Well, I'm not going to because I got $12.1 million and I just don't care. But that is pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come in here and build onto this area a little bit. The way we've got it is pretty good. However, the more fermenters we've got, the better everything can go. I've got five inputs right now, and I physically can't keep those running much more than we already are. I, I just physically can't. However, slurry input is a totally different story. Um, and I'm kind of looking at this going, oh, I could probably fit that right there. Uh, that one won't, but this one probably could. The thing is as well is what's well, a thousand less. It's, it's basically a third of what it already holds there. So would this really make a difference? I'm not quite sure it would. Would it work? Absolutely. But I just don't think it would make a difference. So instead of trying to force it to work, I'm just going to go ahead and start painting in areas and, and doing little things here and there. Just making sure that the area that we've got is not only fenced in and good to go, but is also looking nice. Put some trees out here. Really make it look good. I can't really explain why I wanted to do this right here, but I thought that this would uh, be kind of, I don't know if perfect's the right word or not, but you know what? 
It looks pretty good, so that works for me. I also want to pretty much make this the end. So we're just gonna hit that and go straight over, well, straight back over to the BGA area right here. I also need to make sure that we go boop this way because I uh, was a little bit dangerous where it is now. So I wanna make sure that it gets just far enough over where it doesn't collide, but we still kind of keep ourselves in this little area right here. So got a nice little shed in there and everything like that. And oh, I am at the other BGA right now. Here we go. So these code generation plants are kind of like mysterious in a way. So this is the entry that I've got into the first one. And then the entry into the second one is just this right here. I don't, I don't know why I did this. I can't tell you why. I have no, no reasoning whatsoever. Um, but it is the way that it is. So there is that. I also want to run one fence along this other side here as well, at least for now. So we're headed to decoration. We've got our fences right here. Let's see if we can find that uh, black industrial fence. There we go. We'll connect to that part, and then we're just going to come straight over until we find ourselves a little area where we can actually do it. Is that straight-ish? Straight enough? Boom. Works for me. And there you go. I don't have any massive trees around it, but at least for right now, I think, uh, yeah, pretty good. Not too bad at all. So we should have... A much larger intake now. We'll take a look. We will double check just to make sure. All right, code generation plants are up and running now. And the fermenters, as you can see, we've got room for up to 190,000 liters of slurry. And the manure is going down as well. We've got plenty of intake for that. So I'm going to go ahead and find out uh, where our manure can be intaketed. And we're going to load up a slurry tank and start to run that as well. And I think we may replace a few of the pieces that we've already got on the farm with uh, maybe some trailers that hold more so I can dump a little bit easier and maybe some uh, liquid trailers to hold a little bit more as well. As a matter of fact, now's a really good time to get rid of some extra pieces of equipment that we're not going to be using anymore. So uh, we'll go and get rid of that AB tanker. Let's see, that could go. I don't foresee us needing that anymore. Windrow. Seriously? Great loading wagon. Um, yeah, but I'm going to use the other one from now on. I think that's probably good for now. Oh, yeah. These little guys, too. Um, though they're good, I think we've kind of moved on past these. We don't need the money, but I do need the space. So for these two pieces, the idea was fairly simple. And uh, well, you could probably guess why I went with each piece. We've used these on previous Let's Plays. They work really, really well. I haven't really modified too much else other than these recently. So I think this should go just fine. This liquid tanker, if I remember correctly, holds about a million liters. It's nothing too crazy, but we can open it up. And I've got uh, main color and rim color. So it looks pretty good. Uh, as far as the <laughs> the other trailer, it's a loading wagon, but it's one of my favorite trailers that I've got as well and hold quite literally everything so that makes things nice and easy for me um the other thing is this is where my slurry is going but unfortunately this is not a uh, silo so we'll go ahead and load that slurry up and then i need another tractor just so i can get the other and we could go and dump that manure which would be real nice what we also need to do is figure out which one of these are open and which one of these are not is this empty that is empty. That is good. Uh, this I don't think is empty. No, that's not empty yet. That one's not empty. We're going to close that. That's definitely not empty. However, this does empty. Cool. Got it. All right. Uh, it does kind of feel kind of weird that this is black. However, I will say with everything else, it looks pretty okay. I do like those yellow wheels. Though. That's pretty cool. As far as manure, uh, we are not running low whatsoever <laughs> and it is kind of nice as well i will say so this trailer is probably going to just become the new manure trailer that's the only thing we'll use that trailer for i need to find this there we go and this is just going to be for slurry oops for slurry and only only for slurry let's go and bring it over that manure is going to take a hot minute to do that but we've got a nice little barrier right here or we can go ahead and dump all of this. Three different silos going straight across. So here's the first one. I forgot uh, you just pull up to it and just start dumping because, well, that's the way it is. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Hey, where did it go? Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Uh, Productions. There we go. 
All right, should be about it. Yeah, there we go. So it is still constantly taking product in. However, yeah, I think we're I think we're good right here. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and bring this back over. So this one's done for now. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into here with the manure. I wonder if I could dump it into the same piles. There's no way that it would let me just dump it in there. Oh boy, that's a crash. Would it? I don't. I don't know. These these hold enough. So. I don't think we're gonna be filling anything up anytime soon, but this, ah, it's not too bad. Should dump pretty quickly as well. Is it? I don't, I don't know. The camera angles are awful here. All right, yeah, it's dumping it. And it does look like it's just normal, um, uh, uh dunnage, tonnage? I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's forage, there we go. Maybe that's the right word for it. Um, it does look like that's the correct terminology here. And it does look like that anything can be dumped into the same one. So I'm going to give this a try real quick. And if this is the case, then uh, we got a great place to just dump in our manure. And it doesn't really matter which one of these it goes in. Hey, and I'm right. It just detects it like it's nothing. Cool beans. All right. We'll go ahead and open these as well. So we've got all five of those ready to go. Oh, man. We're done. I think we're done for today in game. There's nothing else really to do. I'll park this up right here just in case. We'll be able to collect uh, collect that in the morning. We'll also double check our animals real quick. So manure will be going in. Silage is, well, there's nothing it can really do from there. Power plant, it's getting the methane back in, but it needs some to do what its job. And the cattle, food's still good, man. Food's still good. Oh yeah, we got 21,000 liters of milk in there, but we got a whole lot more that's over there selling. Um, I don't, I don't actually know how to spend all this money. I don't want to own half of the, or all of the map. I just want to keep things the way they are. Oh, it's going to be so, Urgh. yo, Truckamancy, I had a question for you. Did you make it to where I could put corn in here? Boo. All right. So, uh, the good thing is I didn't make that much overnight. That's really Really good news. Uh, we were at, uh, what, 12 million yesterday? 12.1. We're just north of 13 million today, which just makes me so happy. You have no idea. That was way too much money to have. Way, way too much money to be having. We'll take a look and see kind of what's going on here. So we've got some of this, which is going down. It does look like those have gone, but not this. Huh, I wonder why this is not going down. I'm guessing, yeah, so that's silage, which is fine. And then this is showing silage and manure. Silage is going down little by little there. And we do need to double check here as well, fermenting silo. So that's gone, that's out. All right, so all these should be empty tomorrow. That's good. Oh boy, there's just so much stuff going on. Look at this! It is kind of nice. Finally, we are hitting a time in an area where all of the inputs, all the productions are really, really uh, kind of not stuck, but are just kind of chilling out where they're at. We'll take a look here. Milk is good. Uh, silage is, well, it's silage at the end of the day. We'll kind of double check here as well. Slurry it says 109, but I don't think we got 109,000 liters of slurry. This will tell us right here. Um, yeah, it says 109,000 liters of slurry in there. I don't believe it though. There's no way we got 109,000 liters overnight. I take back what I said. Yep, there's 109,000 liters in there. Will the silo silage take, will this take anymore? Slurry's full, man. Here's another fun one. Uh, 283,000 liters of digestate. I know I got 15 million liters of storage right there, but uh, that's still a lot. All right, so we're just going to get the slurry out of here because there's no reason to not go forward. We are in January right now. I do want to check on the... Uh, okay, so that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we're not on a red farm. We're on a green farm. So that doesn't really help us any. Well, I was gonna do something today in game, but uh, I think it's pretty obvious that that's not gonna happen. We got snow, yeah, man, but that doesn't mean we can't, uh, well, fill up a bunch of this stuff. As you can see, slurry and stuff, it's kind of like everything slowed down. Um, the, the slurry's still really high. Manure is still there. I mean, everything's kind of still here. Silage is still kicking it, man. Um, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it's like we, we, it's like everything just stopped. I don't know if I put too much in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still making a million dollars a day, so it's really hard to complain. Um, but uh, like in here, well, there's nothing here, so that's fine. Uh, the grain mill, well, that's, you know, I guess we could just go ahead and deactivate these things because there's nothing going on with those. Milk is still doing really well. We're still holding a good amount of milk at both of these. Um, they're kind of using each other as their own silo. That's cool, I guess. Power plant, still running. Um, my methane torches are 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 having a having a tough time, I think. So we might uh, go about adding maybe a couple more of those. We ran two, at least to start with. And that seemed okay. That seemed like it worked pretty well. So maybe we could find these. So they run uh, 16, uh, whatever, thousand a pop. So maybe we could come in here and just place maybe two more of these down. Nice and easy. So we'll put one there, and then we'll do another one there. And then we'll do a couple more over here, possibly around the back side of things. Or maybe, just maybe, oh, all four are running. Oh, uh, maybe we should put more down. <laughs> all right, uh, just put a couple more down. So now all six are running. And I think lastly, maybe we'll just kind of put a couple right here, hoping that nothing too crazy happens. Crazy's happening because all eight are running right now. Is it even doing anything? Hopefully this goes down. All right, well, how much uh, slurry did we get overnight? I actually don't know, but... It's probably going to be a lot. I can go in here real quick and check. Uh, slurry, we got another 100 plus thousand liters. So there's that. We've got manure in here as well. Another 100,000 liters of manure. I do need to kind of boop forward and boop back a little bit. But that should do. And it does. So that's good. We can turn that off. Doesn't need to be running. Man. There's just so much coming in and out. It's insane. We are in February right now, so we're going to wait one more month before we have to go in and really, really have a little bit of fun. Uh, I will also go ahead and check our sales. Um, I installed a different version of the sales mod. Um, big shout out to Trucker Mancy for sending that over. Uh, now there's a whole lot more stuff in here. <laughs> So I'm just kind of searching for anything green, anything green. I'm going to try this, but there's no way that this is going to let me put anything in right now. Uh, I mean, it is, but it's only taking one liter, two liters, three liters, four liters. Yeah, it's it's almost not even worth it to put it there. I'm just going to bring this around to the backside. Actually, matter of fact, let's go first person for a little bit of snow driving right now. Yes, sir. Oh, I love driving and farming simulator in the snow, especially in first person, especially when you get some of these older tractors like this one right here. I believe this is 4440. Yeah. <whistles> Got some good stuff there. We'll go ahead and uh, keep those open and we'll put them right here, right where we need. There you go. And then this guy. He's already done, so we can back this in. Yeah, it is kind of funny uh, with especially all of these. Uh, man, there's just so much money to be made. It's kind of ridiculous how much money we've been able to make just in, what is this, 19 episodes so far, at least right now? I mean, it ain't bad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. There's no way also that all of this is going to go in the same bunker. I think it's just going to be too full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got 72,000 liters left. We're going to dump this in the second bunker right here. Just got to keep it going. However, bunker two and three down there, they are not wanting to give up what they got. I mean, they got silage only in them, which should start to kind of dissipate quickly, maybe? Oh, man, I don't, I'm not even sure I know. And now it's more just a waiting game, just like every other time and every other thing that we've done. More sit and wait. Uh, cattle, food good with the cattle? They, I mean, they keep doing all right. Yeah, 225,000. We're, we're okay right now. We're, we're okay right now. 250, 250. We're about 66 uh, or 60 percent through here. Um, so another six months or so, we should get another 250 head of cattle quickly. And then milk production is going to be a little bit out of hand. And the least new amount of money yet, less than a million dollars overnight. Again, manure is still 
Still there, so we'll go ahead and pick the manure up. <laughs> Look, all the snow still stuck on the side right there. That's great. Um, these are all still completely full. The animals down to 50,000 liters, so we will need to give them uh, stuff. However, they are intaking separated manure now, which is kind of neat. Um, go ahead and turn that back on. So 32,000 liters there, and it's the exact same number here. I don't, I don't know how that's happening, so I'm just going to not ask anymore. Uh, I think we got a couple too many productions near each other because this is not going down at all. Uh, they're burning 100% of the methane, that, so that's going absolutely nowhere with this. Ugh, it's uh, there's there's a lot going on right now, and I can't explain. Any of it. Yeah, look at this. The biogas isn't even making money anymore. Look at this. 4.3 million, 3.5 million, 328 bucks, $1,400. The BGA is not even making money. What did I do? Is it because these are open? Hope not. If it is, that's my bad. Here's the thing. These numbers are still going down. Like, yep, there went, there went again. So, and now the cogeneration plant's running, but now it's not running. <laughs> um, ooh, running at its limit, eh? Huh, maybe that's why. We do kind of have a lot going on right now. Maybe we should put down two more, two more cogeneration plants. Let's try that. Let's jump into productions. Let's find those cogen plants. We got plenty of money. Why not? Uh, let's see. There's only a one-way type thing. There we go. We'll turn off the, uh, or turn on rather, place anywhere, do whatever I want mod. Boop, there's one. Put another one over here. How far over should we go? Right beside each other? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Right about there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna use my mouse. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, we'll get it as close as we can without uh, going into the other. Boom, there's that. And then we'll do another one down here just for safekeeping. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And so that I can continue to make this seem and uh, confusingly be a uh, impenetrable fortress, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm going to put in three fences, three gates right here. That way you have to go through the gate in order to go in. But there's actually no reason to do that. All right, there you go. After uh, piddling around with it for a little bit, I was able to get a... Uh, uncontrollably awkward, impenetrable force. Still got plenty of manure here, so uh, another 70,000 liters into the BGA, which is currently not making me a single penny and not doing anything. I don't know if it's because of all of that. Maybe I need more separators. Why am I up so high? Uh, maybe I need more separators. Maybe running three of these was not enough, but they're not intaking what they were intaking. So I don't exactly know what to do from here. I'm giving them everything they need. All the intake. I mean, it's it's got to be good. You can see right here, torches are inactive. The code generation plants are now below 100%. So we're running a little bit more efficiently um, where we can handle a lot of power coming through. Yeah, not too bad. All right. I guess we'll see into the next day. So we're in March right now. They are calling for rain. So we're not going to be able to do any uh, corn harvesting. But I don't think... The corn is ready now anyway? Uh, yeah, the corn's not ready now anyway, but it should be ready in April, which will be the next day in game. So join me for one more episode here on Griffin Indiana. Just kidding. It's going to be episode 20. We got 30 to go, and I don't know what this is going to turn into by the end of all that. Well, I can tell you that uh, overnight, um, I think we made a little bit of money. We're up to 13.6 million. Yeah. I don't actually know what I was at before then, though. Checking out. Everything's still so high. Why? Ugh, I don't get it. The day has come. It is time to get the corn harvest on, baby. And we're going to get a little bit of help while we're at it. So we got the 780 right there. Looking good right over here. Get out of here, deer. What's up, dude? <laughs> you, you look like an ESPN uh, sportscaster. Good job, bud. Uh, and then... And you don't. Uh, we've got this guy right here. The 9610's ready to go. But I feel like maybe one more 
Maybe just one more. You know, it's going to be good when it says modded on it. Yay! So, uh, I'm going to run in here. I've modified everything to hold, but well, you, you guys know, 100,000 liters. Uh, I do like the factory extensions on here. Uh, I could care less about the, the other ones, but do like that. We're going Michelin. We are going tracks. We're also going... US, uh, light config, we're going deluxe. I mean, I got 13 and a half million dollars. I'm gonna do what I want. Uh, designs, uh, we're not going demo stickers because it's ours. Uh, rear hitch, we'll, do, we'll go with the one in the center with a long pipe plus extension, rear wide axle numbers, don't need any of those. Um, main color, I can't remember what this changes. Oh, it changes the stuff at the top. Well, we don't need to worry about that. And then, uh, no license plate. Yeet. And here she is. Yeah, we got a big old corn header right here again. Uh, I am recording these before anything wild and crazy comes out from Hispanomonic. So um, this is pretty much as good as it gets right now, as far as we are concerned. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go over here because this is a whole lot easier to get around than going straight through the middle of my farm on the other side. He's a little bit tight over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Speak it up, speak it up, speak it up. I modified Trucker Matsy's grain mill. It does corn now. So we're going to be getting uh, corn. We're going to take it to the grain mill. We'll get flour out, and we're going to sell just a butt ton of bread. And actually, we are going to run the 780 first. Because what I need to do is I've got to run, well, some headlands. And we're going to run them exactly the way we ran the last time that we came through. So I'm just going to hire a worker down here on the bottom and let them go back and forth. However they decide that they want to turn around is up to them because I'm not going to deal with it. Let's go ahead and turn everything on here. We're going to unfold our harvester, which will bring over that to the side. And that will go down. Speed is set at a... Well, as high as I want it to be. That's that's where it's set. I also know that there's some places down at the end where the row goes out one more. So we'll go there and we'll let him go. Corn in, baby. Corn in. Yeah. Let's go and get everything else unfolded here because this is going to be the... Uh, is that straw? Oh, yeah. I forgot. We've got a straw mod turned on. Uh... I've, oh, we're going to have a lot of straw then, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Uh, let's see if we can come down and get through that. There we go. A little bit of straw out the back. Oh, uh, we should probably enable straw swap. There we go. And now it's just going to be a whole lot of going. <laughs> Does this thing look like it's... I don't know, the, the wide stance on the wheels always kind of makes me giggle a little bit. Um... But for this, as far as this goes, we're going to run two headlands. Basically, I'm just going to go all the way up and down this field. So up here, all the way over here, down to there. Then we're going to run that back one more time. And then we'll do that about halfway around one mo again. And we will be all set and ready to go. There we go. There's that. Yeah, I kind of forgot we had the straw mod on here. I don't remember. Yos, because this is a Yos modding mod. I can't remember if this is an all-platform mod or if it's PC only. I think, I'm, I'm vaguely pretty sure that it's PC only. But yeah, it's a, it's a mod where you've got all straw for every crop, all the things. It's kind of cool. Man, I'm leaving so much deer corn back there. <laughs> I really got to, oh no, we're digging into the ground. That was bad. Bad things just happened. Um, pay no attention. It wasn't me, I, I, I swear. Mm, we did miss some back there. Oh, missed that. This is, oh, missed that. Oh, boy. And check this idiot out. He went all the way down here and didn't even finish these rows. Good job, bub. Good job, bub. You gonna keep going? You sure are. You are just the smartest in the bunch, aren't you? Well, at this least, this idiot's still um, visibly an idiot. So, I guess it could be worse. Um, I'm just going to let that guy, that worker down there, I'm just going to let him do his thing. And I'm going to hit all the parts that he decided he wanted to miss with this combine right here. Probably much easier. That way we just let him go. Just let him go, baby. We are going to have to wait on him. Come on. You can do it. Please don't make me slow down any more than this. Just put the header down and go to work. 
There you go. All right. You did a good job. Such a good job. Two gold stars. Stupid, stupid, stupid idiot. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just going to clean up the mess that you left. No big deal. And the other little bit right here. Trying to figure out why right here they keep missing stuff. Is there anything under the map right here? No, nothing under the map. Nothing that I see under here anyway. It just is strange how they stop here. Maybe this tree, it might just be a little bit too much in the way. Maybe just a bit. I mean, there is limbs up there. We might could delete this tree. Yeah, that might help. Probably would have saved me a lot of headache. That's for sure. There we go. All right. We deleted the tree. Nice opening uh, right there for no trees. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this back on here, hire a worker, and see what we can do. Also, just so we're clear, uh, that area back there is not like, uh, so it's like right in here. It's not a place where there was anything. I mean, there was the middle of a field right there. That was it. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. What do you guys think? Ooh, we should also get ready and start doing some... Uh, Carting as well, so 70, 72. Oh, don't go up to 73. 73, yikes. Uh, we are definitely, definitely, definitely gonna need to get in here and start doing a little bit of carting because these both are gonna be full before it's all said and done. And it's a job for my favorite carting setup. Oh, I love using this setup right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, one thing I might do is give this thing a little bit more power because it is uh, seemingly down a little bit on power. Let's, please, there we go. Let's get in here. Uh, front way, all this stuff is good. However, let's, um, yeah, that. Let's do that. Now I have more power. <laughs> uh, this guy should be good. I've got him set up here. Just going to run back and forth a few times doing all that. However, this dude right here. Yeah, this dude. What? Did you just missed a little bit. Urgh, rabble. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can get this opened up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I am happy about this. Oop, the X9 just hit a... Uh, Look at that. Look at the top. It's 80%. All right. Let's see if we get this thing opened up. Go, 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 go. He is just going to take off. There we go. And hire worker. Or, well, set cruise control. Sweet. All right. So we'll let this go up till I feel like it's about done. And then we'll be done carting with this, at least for the time being. Um, it doesn't quite go as fast as I want it to. So I'm not quite sure how, how good at carting this actually is. But... You know what? It works. I have a solution. <laughs> Bring the truck over here. That'll do it. Uh, we do need to double check, make sure we're good here. So one down and back, 27%. So it's going to be still under 50 by the time he comes back the other way. We're just going to let him do that on his own and be good. Um, I think I'm also going to leave everything kind of the way you see it here as well. I've only done one headland here at the very end or in row, whatever you want to call it. Um, however, well, I'll say however, I think it's probably going to be okay. What do you guys think about that? It's not a lot, but the workers don't seem to care at all. Um, works for me. Now, corn's not the only... Oh, there we go. Corn isn't the only thing that we're running today because we've also got to come through and get a little bit of mowing done as well. And we want to go ahead and wash all of that. The instant wash. Do love that. I got a whole grass field here that is just dying to be mown. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to hook up to our mowers and we're going to run around. I did do a previous video on how I mow this yard. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go back a couple episodes. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this started up because it ain't going to take a whole long time. Oh yeah. And I do plan on merging this field with field number one as well. I don't know. Yay. Oh, that's, that's fun. How did I do that? Had to get a picture of that. That doesn't happen every day. All right. Let's, uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where I am or what I'm doing, but that, that did work. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, 
maybe I should just take over and not let anybody else mow this yard. Um, I'm just gonna do uh, do it my do my thing my way. Yeah, and uh, we'll just do that. I keep forgetting we're actually harvesting today as well. Like this was this the second big harvest? We did corn the first one and wheat. Wheat no corn this one. Wheat the last one. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's do a little carton on the go with the Phoenix, man. Let's see, it. we'll say Phoenix. Oop, this is a Mac. Uh, I don't actually know how fast this goes, but I think I got it kind of figured out. Yes, sir. Hard to argue with that. Ooh, I got it. We got a lot going on. Both combine harvesters are headed down, supposedly for their last run. However, as you can see, uh, this bump. Well, Seven, seven, eight. Um, <clears throat> it can't go fast enough. <laughs> it's being overtaken. However, um, that's actually not bad for me because I'm going to let him go back on his own. I'm going to take the, uh, well, this guy. He's done. Matter of fact, all said and done. There we go. Spinning around. Good to go. Cool. So we're going to have everybody meet up at the other end of the field and slowly 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 but surely get everything unloaded and get all this taken to the green mill there we go nice little triple dump going on there and i'm going to attempt something that i haven't tried and probably well farm some 19 maybe maybe even further out the elusive triple double quadruple dump Ooh, can i do it oh we did it yeah all right well this is just kind of silly <laughs> should probably go and get everything unfolded it raised up i did take a screenshot but it's it's just a little bit silly let's be let's be fair here tell you one thing this is a sight to behold you got the uh with the x9 1100 there s780 over there over here you got the 9610 which i totally didn't use and we have ended up with 591,000 liters of corn in here look at that corn it's corn it's got the juice i just saw that video for the first time the other day super silly i love it and nice and easy over here to trucker matsy's uh grain mill that i totally set the thing for right um corn flour Matsy's gray mill corn is an intake for this corn's not accepted here what have i done oh figured it out turns out you also have to add it to the tip trigger or else it just doesn't work <laughs> all right can we do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget when you load in, everything just starts freaking out. Uh, can we do it? Is it is it good now? Hey, oh, please start the engine. Get out of here. All right. So here we go. Corn is going in. We are good there. We're going to take a look uh, in the production menu just to make sure we are good. Corn is going in, which is nice. Distribution mode is on. Let's go ahead and activate that. Let's activate some bread as well. Uh, automatic selling of the bread and corn flour is an automatic distribution. Well, that's kind of it, isn't it? Boom. Just like so. Not all, actually, because we got this guy, and this guy's doing a great job. However, I need a big tractor, truck, something. Uh, to pull around the loading wagon. So I'm going to go through here. Uh, that's a cool John Deere, but it is smaller than what we're looking for. Um, looking good. Oh, well, I could have gone with an S. It's not powerful enough. Um, oh, no, nope, that's a New Holland. Even though it is a European style type of thing, it is uh, an epic off-road design truck. Uh, a nice aggro truck, I may add. So I might, uh, might just put something like this together. Painted, plastic, lamp guards, yeah, exhaust. I don't know. Uh, none of this is English. So I'm not quite sure, to be fair. Yeah, baby! Agro truck! Hit the people! Yeah! Vroom, vroom, baby! <laughs> hey -oh. uh, we got a lot of stuff used out here. So this should go real nice. Plus, this is one of the trucks that's got the three-point hitch on the back. 
I don't know how in the world they got away with that, but I do think it's pretty darn cool. I'll just probably fix this thing while we're here. Um, yeah, yeah paint, repaint 10 grand. No, thank you. Actually, you know what? I should go through and, and repaint everything because, Lord, I've, everything deserves it, doesn't it? All righty. So we're going to have to go. Hopefully we can get this thing up to 51 miles an hour or else it is going to be a very bad purchase. Gun it. Go, go, go. Let's get all of this up. And I'm just going to go through and get all the straw up. I'm not even going to bother. Well, we didn't get near half what we got whenever we were doing wheat. However, corn straw, not bad. 964,000 liters. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this over and drop it off into our underground silo that we installed a couple episodes ago. Again, go back and check that one out if you haven't seen that one. It was a good one. We are going to now head over to the grass field because it should be... Well, it's not done yet, actually, but it should be getting done soon. We'll go ahead and hit that field, get that grass off the field. We will take that grass, turn it into silage so that the BGA could run and everybody will be nice and happy. Plus, I gotta find some way to cheat with this straw. I mean, use the straw to make something. Might try and figure out a way to turn straw into silage. Maybe take like straw and manure and turn it into silage. Yeah, that's, ugh. No, not manure. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Grass is all picked up. We are good, baby. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and get this 1.2 million liters of grass over to the silage maker and let it make us some silage real quick. Uh, I'm not gonna plant anything in, but one thing I am gonna do is fast forward time one day. Uh, which I think this is the last thing that I need to do right there before actually fast forwarding some time other than trying to get, ouch, that's a crash counter, uh, trying to get just m maneuvered in and out of here to get parked up. Um, once we get into episodes or the third series, so episodes 21 through 30, we're really going to focus on building a place for all of this big equipment. we got a lot of big stuff here uh, without a home. We've got a really small farm area over here, um, which is fine. Don't don't get me wrong. I like, I like our area, but I think we need to grow a little bit. I think we need to expand a little bit. And I think we really need somewhere that we could park all of these big things. Um, I am really thinking about doing some like drive through garages, something where you could drive in one side and drive out the other, something like that. I don't really know what I'm going to go for, or where it's going to be, but that is the game plan. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So corn, 591, um, thousand liters in there we got a little bit going it's going so fast i got time set to zero and it's still moving forward it's just stupid insane how funny that is but it's working uh we've also got milk and stuff everything's going good here we're actually going down in production 840 or uh, 84 uh, thousand liters there and then the fermenter here it just doesn't go down every time it goes down it could boom jumps right back up, and I don't know why. <sighs> All right, let's save the game and fast forward. Entering into the day, show me that money. Yeah, I like that. $17.7 .7 million. Okay, so something has happened. Somebody made money somewhere. These are going down. This is good. Um, but as you can see, like I'm not giving it slurry. I'm not giving it any of this stuff. It's just not working. <sighs> what, am, what am I doing wrong? I've got, I gave it silage. I gave it manure. I gave it slurry. It doesn't physically want to give me the digestate or, or, you know, and it doesn't want to give me the methane. Why? Ugh, milk's going back up. We're good there. Uh, we have made all of the flour that we needed to make so at least all of that's good let's go into our money and see exactly where all that cash came from uh four million dollars in sold products that's probably where they came from a couple hundred thousand there um still not seeing bga money at all yeah right here biogas plant income um i'm thinking possibly that i've completely messed this up don't know what i could have done it's a little bit frustrating. That's all I'm saying. 
That's all I'm saying. It's a little bit frustrating. I built all this. Why is it making... Ugh. All right, so check this out. I may have fast forwarded like, I don't know, four years, two, three, four years in advance. Um, and I realized that the BGA had stopped because the allotment for digestate had been filled up in my silo right here. I don't know exactly what stopped it because if I go into my silos, uh, we got this holds 5 million liters, which is kind of ridiculous, but I'm wondering if that's 5 million liters, but only like a million for slurry and or digestate. So I'm going to load these mods up in a separate, uh, separate little bit here, but I've got that running now and everything's being used up. So it's fine ish. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to quickly fast forward through into the next day. And there you go. So we fast forward to time. Uh, I believe the money went up there as well. So these are still going. I mean, manure's still flatlined, if I'm honest. Um, silage is still there, but we've got a huge intake right there as well. Um, let's see. Let me come down. At, what is going on here? Um, it's still taking slurry out of there. Uh, so we're, we're... Man, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Anyway, I'm running into problems. I got to figure it all out. And I guess we'll figure it out later because I don't, it's late and I'm tired. So there you go. Um, I'm not going to save the game, but it was nice to kind of figure out what was going on. Yay. All right, be good with your bad self. We'll see you guys soon. Well, guys, that is it for today. That is the end of the second series from Griffin, Indiana. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Zeb. Hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.